How are you doing today, boys? When does this shit start, man? Oh, look, he's got the info. Region Jupiter, three years on the class. Hunter Blue. He has five years on Ranger? Accomplishments. So mediocre, no one knows who he is on Ranger after five years. I'm gonna be real. That's exactly what I said. I said, I didn't even know this guy plays Ranger. I know I've seen him, but I didn't even know he plays Ranger. Yellowheart, best player in Isolated? Possibly. Amazing cosplayer, I heard. Accomplishments. Oh, those are them. Two years on the Tuck Nova. Chief, rank one striker. AOS S3. I don't know what that means. Oh, Arena Sur oh, Solaire, okay. Second best striker NA. Ah, that's debatable. Um, Azurlia, four years on the class. Accomplishments, has not touched real grass in four years. I'll have you know that's not true. I met Azurlia in real life, and we had the best sushi in my life. We got the best, we just picked the sushi spot, and it was fucking amazing. We just sat there mind blown, enjoying it. We had like the best sushi ever. I think it was in a Korean area, which was a little surprising. Leifanda. Three, three weeks, four years on Corsair. He's barely been on a weight Corsair. I hope he has more time on a weight Corsair. I think he does. I think that's a meme. He actually has a girlfriend. Okay. Debatable. <laughs> another, another debatable fact. Oh, that is the first match. Okay, so the first match is about to start. Yeah, here we go. I, uh, I just woke up, man. I did not. I barely slept. I rushed to get back out here ASAP. Because I wanted, uh, I didn't want to miss this shit. Because I, I, I was like, I really want to be out there. Rudy. Oh my god. Oh shit. Thank you for the thank you for the sub, bro. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ten months, homie. Good morning. Good morning to you too, man. Yeah, this is actually me streaming in the Good morning, good morning. I haven't been able to say that in forever. Yeah, I just want to see Bobo play. I want to root for Bobo. That's like the main thing, but I got a lot of homies in here. Like in this match, Azurlia oh, fucking super homie. You know what I mean? I would love to see him win as well. Like I hope he beats Bobo, honestly. Fuck Bobo. Because this is like, a, this isn't a team that like everyone's expecting to win. I'm always going to root for an underdog. I would love to see them like come out of nowhere and get the win. So, obviously that would be dope. We could root for Azurlia. We're, we're, everybody, we're rooting for Azurlia on this one. Unless you're friends with anybody on the other team. But if you're in this, you don't have a, you know, serious setup here, we're, we're rooting for Azurlia. And Jason, I love that dude, but I don't know if he's, uh, He's a 1v1-er. I don't know how well he's good. He did, he does well in 3v3, though. I mean, he won the, uh... He did a tournament in, in uh... The fuck is it? Ethereum. But it was random teams. But he won that one. And a 3v3 AOS tourney. Not e it wasn't even random teams. They picked teams to put, like, the, the people who are familiar with 3v3 with people who are unfamiliar with it. To kind of make it so, like, the people that are good could teach the lesser people, the people who aren't as experienced, on how to do it better. Which is really fucking smart. Shout out Alec, I think he came up with that, the Ethereum GM. It was a really good tournament. Um, but when I went up against his team, he just he had the better comp. He had a Sage and a Megu on his team. Like, even if they were new, you know what I mean? If they're, if they're not experienced in 3v3, having Megus or Sages, it's just, you can pick it up so fast. I think I was with, like, a Kuno, which is way more difficult for 3v3 if you're not used to it. And um, a Suck Zerker, which is a really good class for it, but... Again, it's a class that, like, you have to play around your team. You have to be familiar with 3v3 to utilize it properly. I was watching you Warrior POV on that with the Kuno and Zerk. Oh, you're talking about the uh, Ethereum one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was with Kuno and Zerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was tough. It was a tough one. Do I was with Dog Butt on the uh, Kuno, and he never even calmed before in AOS. Like, he never, because his voice chat, the in-game voice chat doesn't work for him. So if, he, if Dog Butt joins the in-game voice chat, his game crashes. So he never you know, worked with a team in, vo in in voice. So he had no experience with that. So when we were in the matches, he would just go silent. That was his big weakness, you know what I mean? Because he, he just didn't have enough practice in time. So it was a really, it was a tough battle. And now this is how I see the matches going. So like I said, first match, I think Azalea's team wins. If there's three streamers that you sub to, you're better off having Twitch Turbo then, huh? Alright, we're watching Region Trooper. This is the match. Yeah. I really goes right in the little fucking rat. We're just gonna watch two strikers hop around. Look, the two strikers in each other's faces. Where's my mouse? The screen is so fucking bright, man. Turn the gamut down. Come on, spectator. For fuck's sake. That's why I gotta be up in here. Hunter Blue's at half health on the Awakened Ranger. Like I said, I think that's the weak link here. I don't... Yeah. I think he just died. Yeah, Hunter Blue just died standing. I mean, do I not know how to call it? 
Ah, uh, Regent Jupiter, he's just gonna do things. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, bro. That's exactly what I said was gonna happen. Now they're just gonna slowly dwindle down. Yellow Heart, DR, no matter how tanky you are, believe it or not, in DR, when you're at this fucking hard cap level, you're not, it's not like AOS where you're unkillable. You're killable. She's dying standing. I think she just V'd. Yeah, I think Yellow Heart just had to V standing. Can't tell if there's a sniff. Surprise, there, there wasn't a sniff. Oh, there was, pretty much. She's dead. And that's round one. I just, I'm gonna laugh my ass off if I nail how I called everything. If everything goes exactly as I said. That's why I was like, I need to watch this. Because this is a test on how well I study players. Now we're gonna watch Hunter Blue. I like this POV because I could judge his ranger. It was a thing before the prime. Oh, it's been a thing forever. Okay, I didn't know that. As they once again flies right in. Hunter Blue just wasting all his stamina before anything's even happening. And no lingering. A lot of dancing. Ooh, Chief on the ground. Not even, not even recc'd. Just left untouched. Maybe he's DP medium. It's hard to tell. I think Chief just missed the grab. Although it don't matter. Strike the two grabs. You can't keep track. You'll never know if the strike has a grab or not. It's too hard. It's really hard to keep track unless they spam both of them at the same time. Then you can call it out. It's never worth calling out if a striker missed grab unless you see two unless you call two of them out. Hunter Blue grabbed. Let's see if uh, again Hunter Blue's the first one to die. And that's Ooh, that might have I, I I feel like Chief probably had his spiral on can on cooldown there. That's why it didn't CC. Uh, Hunter Blue's just CC'd again. Your boy knows his shit. Your boy knows his shit. I know my players. I know my players. Yellow Heart. Literally same thing happening again. Yellow Heart forced to V. Oh, no, she didn't V. She's still standing. She's just in a blur of effects. And she's dead. And my boy Azalea wins! That's what we want to see. Surely. Surely he wins. I'm guessing Azurly is running evasion because whether if he's DR, I think he would have popped there. I think he might have ran evasion for that match. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ask him because I don't wanna know. I don't wanna spoil it. Hunter is a gearlet. I don't know if he is see they're saying he's a gearlet, only 30 730 gear score. To play Ranger in a match like that, you need to be like hard capped gear. You need to be geared. I don't I said I don't think people realize how much of an issue that is. Let's congrat congratulate. Azralia. Easy. Good luck, good luck. As expected. Let's see what they got to say about this. Um, damage is putting, being put on top of him while he's in those SAs. And then once Hunter Blue goes down, it's kind of hard for the other two to try to clutch for the 2v3 because you still have... But well, once Hunter Blue goes down, it's over. And the awakening you can't 2v3. 2v3 in here is just... Especially with, with, with these people's gear scores, you don't 2v3. You cannot 2v3. The only one that could 2v3 is Hunter Blue if he was hard capped on Ranger. Not many classes could 2v3 in this in this level. We're not gonna see. I I won't be surprised if we don't see any 2v3s today. I'm sure we'll see like one, but it's not gonna be like a normal tournament. You're not gonna see a lot of that shit. Bobo Buddy on the Awakening Striker. Uh, in his in his career on Awakening Striker uh, into that Awakening Corsair team that we just saw right there. Uh, that that's gonna be a completely different um, matchup. Even if the Bobo's catching me off guard, he's switching it up. He abandoned the Great Sword guys. Allow Divios and Bobo to both trade better into their opponents because it's not always necessarily can you one combo while standing or can you one combo while even on the ground or whatever it may Oh, be. that's their next match. As Azalea goes up against right? Bobo next. That's, other, that's tough. Or evenly trading grabs, which... Viking warrior Rudolph the Red and his wife were on a stroll. Rudolph the Red looked at the sky and said, we should hurry, there's a storm coming. His wife asked, how do you know? And he replied, Rudolph the Red knows reindeer. And he's out of here. Ting is out of here. He's walking off. That was good. That was good. That's cute. Wholesome way to start the day. Cheers, Ting. How you doing today, man? Um, and so it's gonna be the goats versus untamed. Goats are untamed. Uh, the goats is gotta kiss. Who did I give this twice. match to? These are some very. I give this to goats. I I like the boys in untamed. 
better, honestly. Like, I, I, those are my boys. I love those kids, but I don't like their comp in this matchup. I'm, I'm expecting the goats to win, but I'm rooting for unteamed. It is what it is. I pick favorites. Sorry. Seven years. Oh, time on glass, two weeks. No, bro. No way. I said I don't think I've ever seen that guy in Wolf Track. Oh, you'd be a favorite at Go. Of course, man. Come on. Goddick is eight years on Ninja. Almost knocked in show. Almost knocked out show. That's what they got going for them. That's their accomplishment. Lives in a rent-free six-bedroom apartment in Bro Bear's head. Oh, that's right. Swid was a goon. Sensing a little sarcasm. Oh, we will, Seed. He's up next, actually. This is his fight coming up. I'm expecting... I, I, I said they get 2 owed. That's my assumption. I think they lose this. I want to see them win. I want Hero Play to win. But his fight's coming up. You should stick around. The thing is, if Hero Play's team is Hero Play on Awaken Ninja, King James on Awaken Striker, and Bingy on Awaken Zerker, I don't think Awaken Zerker does well in this matchup. That's the thing. I think Awaken Zerker just gets ran down by these guys. Nah, people overhype him because he's geared as fuck and he just gear checks people 1v1, you know what I mean? So people, of course, people talk about him like he's a god. But 1v1, he is fucking phenomenal. Like, he's, like I said, like, it's not just gear. He's the hardest Awake Ninja I deal with, 1v1. I don't, there's not, there's not one Awakened Ninja that I've struggled with as close to as I do with him. Like, I never felt like Awakened Ninja, like, mechanically or kit-wise, you expect Awakened Ninja to count the warrior. But place, I never felt like it did because they were always overconfident and they just, they allow me to catch them too easily. Hero play plays it much better. But 3v3 is a totally different thing. And his problem is he doesn't 3v3 enough on his Awakened Ninja. He's a little rusty. Or whatever. He's a little, you know, he's inexperienced, I feel like. I don't think he did enough AOS on Ninja. Let's see. Alright, I don't even see him in here. I know I saw him in ranked AOS. And then this is his team. This is Hero Play's team. Six years on the class. Got by Septimus to say Ninja was broken. Bingy. Accomplishments. Family tree is a wreath. King James. <laughs> Main striker, but learned to read by age 15. Time on class, one month. Oh, King James is on Suck Sage. Oh, they didn't have it like that in the listings. Wait. Yeah, they had King James listed as Awake Striker. He's going to be on Suck Sage. That changes things up. I don't think King James is, is experienced enough on Suck Sage, though. I, I still think they're going to lose it. But they might have a better chance because King James is, like, hard-capped. Nah, I don't think he should have Striker. He's hard-capped, bro. Sage... Sure, striker, he plays better, but I still, I, he's not, you have to be a really good striker in these matchups to like, be, I don't know. Yeah, like Sage is better. It's, yeah, like he's going to be, if he's running, like he could run DP meme on the suck Sage, you know what I mean? And still be able to chip. You to, yeah, I mean, Sage, for him, for this matchup and for his, being that he's not a pro a pro sage, striker would have been better for him. But I just know I had them losing. So maybe him being on suck sage changes that up. Because like awake Zerk. Maybe they'll go for sucks. Maybe they'll go for King James instead of Bingy. And if if he's running enough DP, maybe Bingy can actually get some shit done on Awake Zerk instead of just getting ran down, which is what I'm expecting. You get what I'm saying? Because the way I had it is Bingy just gets ran down if King James is on striker and he's on ninja. But it's gonna be fun. This will be a good fight then. Bro, come on, stop memeing. We don't think Ninja is that broken, okay? We don't even I don't think it's broken. I think it's it's OP in 1v1, but that's what it's got going for it. It's fair. Yeah, Woke Zerk is super fun to watch. It's super fun to play. I was talking to Oni yesterday, because I have them losing. I have them as the one of the best teams. I have them as the third best team, but I see them the Zerk dying first, and then the other two falling over. I see Oni getting focused and ran down. Awake Hash, a lot of people say, is broken in 1v1. I mean, my thing is, if you have speed, you can kite it. And just don't fight it, bro. It is pretty broken 1v1. 
Tamer's more broken, honestly, though. Tamer, Tamer's the most broken 1v1, I think. I think even over Ranger. I mean, those are the three. Tamer, Ranger, Hesh. Those are the top three 1v1s, I think. And then fourth, I'd put, like, a weak Ninja, then maybe a weak Striker. Do Melee or Caster typically get ran down first, or does it depend on the class? It depends on the matchups. And for... for at lower tiers, the caster is always going to get ran down. At higher tiers, it'll depend a little more on the matchups. People, you know, if you know the caster is like one of the best casters in the game, you might pick a different target to run down. Like if I know I'm going up against Details, Blown, Huntler, um, Oni, if he was on his caster, I would. I don't know if I'd focus them compared to some other targets. What are we doing, bro? Let's get this shit going. We don't want to sit here and listen to people talk, man. Say, I think the GOATS wins this, but I want, I'm want i rooting for Untamed. We're going to watch Godicus. The POV. Ninja POV is always fun. Yeah, yeah, we're watching it right now. What's up, Sora? Good morning. This is uh, Hero Play Smash. Godicus, you see, like, Godicus is way more familiar with 3v3. He's probably the better ninja in this fight. Playing it super slow. Switches with God. Okay. See, uh, what I say, bro? They're gonna run down Bingy. That's their plan. They just said they they stole, they stole, and they're like, all right, go Bingy. And uh, I'm assuming Bingy already V. I think Bingy already V. But Godicus is V too. They let the Bingy got out of V. No sniff. No sniff. Godicus didn't didn't V right. That was a good heal by the Falc though. Out of v with half health at least. With 60% health because of that heal. I telling you, he's just looking bingy. Oh, he went into the pit. Never mind. Oh, wow, I don't know how he got out of there. I'm not gonna lie. Now they should be going bingy. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, bingy's dead. Alright, I'm just gonna say, in this fight, what did I say happens first? Bingy dies, and then the match ends. Bro, I just they know my shit, man. This is his second match, just playing out exactly as I said. But Godicus has no V, so he should be, like, way more passive right now. He's being cocky, bro. He got the grip, though. He got the grip on James. Untamed sucks. Family for the win? Nah, Untamed is cool as hell, man. I give them... I, I love those boys, but... I just... You know, this is, uh... The more experienced team. Oh, King James is running DP me, my thing, bro. Are they stolen for like buffs? They're stolen for e-buff. Godicus wants his e-buff. Falc wants his fucking PA and shit. They're gonna stall. They kicked me because I went AFK and party for a week. Fuck on teams. Bro, any people need slots, man. That ain't their fault. You can just rejoin after you, pussy. Bro, don't blame the guild for being fucking efficient. I respect them for that. I'm happy they kicked you for being AFK instead of letting you waste the slot. Good for them, bro. Come on. Never hate on a guild for being efficient. Yeah, this is a prize pool. This, If you were ever going to stall, this is the tournament to stall. All right, round two coming up. I don't know. I wonder what hero play was running. I'm guessing hero play is really tanky. I, I'm not hero play. I'm sorry. Um... King James. I'm guessing King James is running a lot of DP. It seemed like he wasn't as squishy as you would expect the Sage to be. Which means, you know, they're not scared of the Sage e buff as much. Probably the same thing. They're gonna play slow and then they're just gonna make calls to swap the bingy. Oh, but Swid got fucking blasted by Bingy. Just gets right back up. Foul. Max resists. He has no fears. He can heal. He can PA. Bingy's already at fucking 30%. He's just got to run. He's staying way too close. He's literally flying through the fight, risking dying in fucking giant sleep. And he died before being, quite possibly. Unless he has, like, 10 health. I feel like I saw the red circle for the V. No, he dead. He dead. He dead. That's it. He died standing. No V. Where the fuck? Come on, man. I know my shit. All right. And there's the 3v2. And we'll see what happens here. You'll play dead. 
You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm an analyst, man. I know my shit. I pay attention to these players. Like I said, you know, it's ninja's gonna. You're not gonna be able to get enough done unless you're super aggro. But you can't really do that on awake ninja. Suck ninja, you can. Awake ninja, you're more of a. Tra you have to be a little more passive. You're, you don't. You don't have the the tools to be as aggro compared to suck ninja. Which is why it pays to play more than one class. Because depending on your teammates, you might want to play awake ninja in, or suck ninja instead. He only plays awake ninja. He got locked into awake ninja for this. It's not the right class for this comp. It could be pretty aggro, but not enough. To not get CC'd in that matchup, you know? You're just going to get caught by random shit if you go too aggro. That's my problem. Today, I think they're only best of three. And then it's going to move up to best of five, probably. All right, what is this? Suna, top 100 AOS, third in the tournament, third in the tournament. First best in class ninja. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the Ghost Suna Ninja, Enza. Um, Suna's a DR know, Suck Musa. Seed, you'll also get to see DR Suck Musa. Maybe we'll see how if OP it is, like you guys were saying. Remember that conversation? Were you there for that? With EU saying it. so, this is multi team. So this is the this is poss This is the best team in the tournament, shared with Bobo Divio's Raiden team. Both, I think, are just the two best teams. I can't pick one. I guess Bobo's team running the Awake Valk. Everybody thinks Awake Valk is like the top class to have on your team for for AOS. So AOA and whatever three three, they think it's the perfect class right now. It's basically the next best thing to shy. So we'll see if that's true because they don't. These guys don't have a valve. So if these guys win, then maybe that's a little overrated of a assumption. Multi's kind of insane. Precision, Coco, mm, for what? Small scale one v one? Nah, Coco ain't it, bro. Coco ain't it. Coco's just got the gear, bro. I think that's it. I'm sorry. I've seen that guy. I fought him open world. Well, QZG is an NA. Precision maybe, but precision um. I don't think he really does 3v3 on it enough. Like, I don't think he's done enough small scale. Multi's been on a weak track. Nine months, bro. Precision has not been on it nine months, I don't think. Oh, best in the game. Okay. No, nah, actually, Multi's probably better than QCG, honestly. I think Multi's probably better. Yeah. Because I fought QCG, and I fought Multi Melter. And Multi does things that QCG did not do. Multi has, like, a lot of tricks to this class. That I don't see any other tracks do. QCG is EU, yeah. But so is Multi. Allegedly. Alright, we're watching Multi. Team staying tight. Alright, Multi pick Meth. That's their team. Ooh, Multi got grabbed. Suna did the suck. Oh! That suck Musa damage, bro. Wow. How did they let him do that? I mean, to be fair, he got pulled up the ledge. That's like the only time they're going to be split that bad. <gasps> and Multi's dead. I think I put this 2-1. So I said they might lose a round getting caught off guard by that damage. No way. That was such a bad way to get gripped, dude. That was so bad to watch. Multi. He let the fucking range grab pull him on the fucking up the ramp. So his team couldn't peel because you couldn't just dash right to him. You had to go around to get him. He should have just insta V'd. He got cocky because he's hard capped. Meth. I don't know how Meth didn't kill Suna standing though on that. Oh, we'll see what happens here. I think now he, now he knows he has to V. Come on, Multi. I mean, I fuck it, dude. I, w I would like to see Suna game out here. I'd like to see Suna in more matchups. Suna's got to hide and just wait till someone is CC'd. Which, I don't know why they care. Don't go for Suna. Bro, you just go for Suna when he comes to peel. It's just like Suck Mewa. Similar situation. If he wants to sit in the back, let him. Even that, yeah, just grab Ratro. Now Suna's got to come in, and now you fucking focus him. Yeah, you swap to him, you force him out of the fight. Look, he's down to half health, just for his approach. There we go. Ooh, he's got a nice position here, though. But, it's okay. He ain't gonna kill Multi unless Multi CC'd. The only one they can really go for here is Meth. And Meth again could... Okay, we got a situation here. It seems Suna might have crashed? Nah, that was probably just some... Yeah, it was just some lag. Suck Moose is so fast. It, he, he literally dashed out of Blue's spectator mode and forced Blue to swap to multi Melter. It's a long round. I don't know how they're not... They should be just going to Ninja, bro. Oh, Multi's on the ground. To Suna. 
he almost held the V, then he realized if he loses this round, they're out of the tournament. I, I can't believe they didn't try to sniff that. Nice, shift you over the wall. It's a great way to reposition. They, they really need to like, they, I, I feel like they don't have a game plan. Okay, yeah, just grab Ratro, dude. Fuck it, you guys have the damage. I think they were so scared, because they're so used to AOS. I don't think they realize this is an AOS. Ratro can't be too tanky. He can only be tanky. There's no more too tanky at this gear level. All right, they're going after Ratro now. I think they realized. Oh, that was weird. I don't know what that was. I feel like Multi just went after his teammate. Oh no, Multi! He didn't see that coming. All right, he gets up. He gets up. Big CCs. Big CCs. Somebody got dead. Ratro's dead. Ninja Veed. Ninja's at seven percent. That's what I'm talking about, Multi. It's your fucking head in the game. This is an AOS, man. They should be blowing people up. Where is Suna? Oh, so maybe Suna did crash? Oh, okay, there he is. No. No. Yeah, Suna did crash. Okay. I saw him after that, though. Which is weird. Drac isn't that- No, Drac isn't that good in 3v3. Drac isn't that good in 3v3, in my opinion. In a bigger map, yes, but in that map, he doesn't have, like, the space to really get out and wait for stamina. So it's a good focus target. They're never- they're never gonna be able to get out. And they, their grab up is not that reliable. Yeah, like, a map like Olin's is way nicer for Drac. And he- and, any AOS map is better than the AOA map. The AOA map is fucking garbage. Especially for the way this game is now. Because they've changed the game. They made the game all about movement. Everybody has insane movement now. And if you don't have room to utilize that movement, you, you know, your class just gets fucking pulled down so much. And everybody, you know, they rely on so much movement and stamina. Like, Multi burns through stamina if he's staying in the fight. And he has nowhere to, you know, get it back. Similar to Suna. If they force Suna to dash around, he runs out of stamina. He's fucked. You know, that class will just fall over, too. It's really shitty in AOA. I guess he could just Tiger's Blade last second. But still, like, that's, it's hard to pull it off in AOA. You could get ran down in Tiger's Blade in AOA. They're not going to redo the round? Probably not, no. Somebody said Brutes made a quick call to PA. Had them fucking going soon as a uh, connection. I th I'm hoping this gives them time to redo their strategy. It's not that I really want Monkey to win over Suna. It's more that I feel like their team could win if they played it properly. So it's just, it, I don't want to see them lose without seeing them play it to their best. I wish you were playing this. That's why I want the gear, man. That's why I'm trying to grind for gear. I'll be in the next one. I'm not going to miss any more of these. Like, I'm Flowers gear level. So when we watch Flowers, let's see how Flowers does. I'm pretty sure me and Flowers have very similar gear, except he plays Drac. This is where I'm at. 322, 404. I just, I don't have any pen devils yet. And if I had, I have 30, 40 gear score. I don't think that's true, bro. No, that's not true. You're slacking. That's not true. 100% that's not true. 100% that's not true. Bro, he's literally my gear. Once again, do not doubt me. I know everything. He's literally my gear. What do you mean that's not his gear? That's normal, bro. Yes, I'm telling you he does, bro. He's been grinding like crazy. But why does he have this set up? Why does he have three pages set up for fucking devos? Unkillable God build is his endgame build that he wants. And normal is what he wants. Or what he has, I think. Bro, this, there's no, like, why? It's got the two fucking Jatina artifacts. Don't doubt me like that, bro. We're missing the match because of this. All right. Soon as back online. He's literally my gear. Builds to aim for? Maybe. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. I'll, I'll ask him in the tournament when he's playing or whatever. I'll ask him after, bro. We'll find out later. If that's wrong. But I'm pretty sure he was like my gear. Because he outgeared me not before I got my devos.
we're distracting from the tournament. Pink Crabs, Ratro, as soon as not there to drop damage. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in there. I see health bars moving way too fast for him not to be in there. Pig almost died standing. Bro, how are they letting Suna do this? Oh, Pig's, Pig's in trouble. Oh, the V. Whew, he got out. Pig's going right back in with no health. When there's a DR suck Musa, I can't believe they let this happen. They just need to heal, bro. Play slow. It's very easy for them to pull away and heal. Because, like, Ninja you kind of see coming unless he's stealth walking somehow through the match. I'm pretty sure Enza, by the way... Not Enza. Uh, whatever his name is. Or is it Enza? I think it's Enza. I don't think he's running DR like I thought. I'm pretty sure he's not running DR. Which kind of fucked me up. Because everybody said he was running DR. Suna almost died standing now. This is a crazy round. They're just chasing, bro. It's just like musical. They're just running across the map. Suna's really low. Multi's really low. But Multi can heal. Suna can't. Multi just got out of a blocky ass situation. Ratcho just got sniffed. Ratcho's done. Oh, but Pig's on the ground. Pig's gonna die here. Oh, the evasion! It's just too much. Suna died standing! Suna died standing! He would have had Pig dead. But he fucking died standing. Holy shit. I hope they do a third. I hope they do another match. I hope they redo the one he DC'd, but I don't think they will. Bro. What a match. Bro, he lived. The invasion's just too OP. He lived with a little fucking tiny bit of health, man. Oh, man. Suna fucking died standing on him, I think. I wish they lowered effects, but apparently viewers don't know what the fuck's happening if effects aren't on. Because you miss what's happening because of the effects. It's too much happening. I would like to... Yeah, you know what? See what happened there. Maybe we could rewatch the end of that last round. Now they're going to stick to V. All right, now we can actually watch it. He gets the grip. Soon as at 20% health, that's the problem. He's already 20%. So once he comes in, he's just going to die. Multi's dropping damage. I wonder who actually got the kill on him. Enzo went in there. I think Enzo, uh, Enzo's still standing. Suna comes in with 20%. Meth is in the back, so it's not even Meth yet. Meth comes in. Suna's still 23. Suna's healing, actually. So it's not Multi. Multi's over here. Oh, but Multi repositioned. So now Multi's shooting into them. Okay. Meth is here. Suna's here. Pig is still alive. On the ground. Suna's trying to finish Pig. And then Meth turns to Suna. And there you go. I think Suna just died right there. And maybe perhaps Enz is caught too. No, Enz is still standing. Enz didn't even get CC'd. But Suna just got popped by uh, Meth in the back. Wow. That was fun. That was just fun, bro. What do you guys want to watch? You want to watch Spectator POV or you guys want to watch Armin's POV? Do you think Armin POV? Might as well, right? If you're going to watch somebody in the match, you might as well watch the GOAT. Does Armin have comms? Hims. Good question. They have a lot of debuffs on the Guardian. It's a range grab. If you're this far away from him, like look at me and Gamble, he can grab you. It's actually a little further. Do not stand still in close range. And that means you, Gamble, like, because I know you sit in your slow a little bit. You're going to have to, like, exit it pretty quickly. You see what I mean by calm different experience? When he's going for it. Right. Armin already, you see, we're in the stream for two seconds. He's telling his team tips on the game. You see how having somebody knowledgeable yeah, on your team, it, it bleeds into your team. It carries over to your teammates. He's already giving them pointers on what they need to do. He's telling them their weaknesses. That's how efficient it is, having someone, you know, like that on your team. Armin might be going DP. Maybe he really is. I mean, his team is pure damage, so maybe DP's to play. They don't have accuracy. Junzo, Travesty, uh, Flowers. They won't be able to kill Armin, I don't think. They don't have the accuracy for it. With their gear, they that that that's actually really sick. Maybe this is why Armin did this team because they need to get Skeptic or no Gamble, and those are two hard classes to catch. But I could see Skeptic flopping and getting CC'd. Who did I pick to win this yeah, one? Well, if it, if it comes out to, we I think we do play. Actually, I gave this to Dragons, but no, after seeing Armin's damage. running DP, this I is making me second guess so it. I I have Dragons winning this, but I'm 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 doubting myself already. This will be the first one I'm wrong on, if if I'm wrong. Otherwise, so I, I guessed the first whole bracket I, correctly. I just think after 316, the AP cost, the amount of silver you're putting into the AP 
isn't worth what you're getting. Grab Guardian, grab Guardian. He's e-buff. He's oh gonna my stand god. Up. Careful. See how he calls the e-buff? Alright, we're gonna back up a little bit here. I'm nothing damage. Yeah. His audio that, is weird oh, as fuck. A spot. lot of them are e-buff right now. Junzo, not, not much happening here other than Junzo being super low HP. And once Armin grabs him again, he's gotta be. Junzo's playing it slow. Junzo's going to grab. Don't worry about Junzo, he's gonna be an iframe right now. Armin just spamming shit, Travis dude. C. He's gonna stand up. Travesty's fine. Yeah, I get Travesty. They, go, they gotta go Junzo or Flowers. I got oh! I, can't die. I got that heal, I got the heal, I beat okay. Oh, so I got, one I got of Flowers, the... I got Flowers, it's okay. winnable. It's not. He dies, he dies, he dies, he dies, he dies. Oh, okay. right. He died standing. He didn't V. No grab on Guardian. I want us to back up now. They got the V too. Uh, okay. Bro, if they lose this, I'm calling them Flowers and Junzo or just team fucking choke. Because Junzo choked the last tournament. And if Flowers throws this one due to chokes like that, not Ving. I think he thought since Skeptic was in V, he would be okay, but. Bro, yeah, Sarkash has yeah, damage. Yeah. No Guardian Guard, no Guardian Guard. We're just gonna chip Guardian. Don't worry, I'm chipping away. He beat? We snip, we snip, we snip. We snip. He, he can't kill Gamble, he can't kill Gamble. Oh, he's about to beat. Wow, he can't even kill Gamble. I, 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 group up? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's Travis. Okay, okay. Okay. Watch the grab here, he's looking for it. Travis, he's not gonna kill shit. That's what I'm saying. Okay. I don't think they have the damage. This is tough. On the ground? They gotta get Skeptic. He's caught? Nice. He died. He died. I'm, I'm grabbing? It's still winnable. It's not a one sided thing, but I, they gotta play for Skeptic. But they don't have, none of their classes are a class that can like TP behind Skeptic to CC and punish his forward guards on Awake DK. If he's on Awake DK, I think he's Awake. So it's tough. No, it's not about the money. The money, I'm just saying, when you think about it, you could swap that, you know, a little bit of AP for so much more. You know, for so much more, uh, for anything, for DP. I don't know. DP. But I guess on DK, it ain't helping too much. Or that even. I don't know, man. That's why I think endgame, you know, DP builds work best. Like, evasion players are just a better class. Because you get all that damage, it ain't doing much. You're not getting that much more damage running 323. Whereas, if you could sacrifice damage for evasion, because you're an evasion class, it pays off so much more. Grab them. Oh, or for DP, because you're a, D, you know, a DR, here. Here. a class that can top, utilize DR, like Valk or Warrior or something. On the ground, Jinso? All right, nice. I, I'm Junzo's just popping, Junzo dude. Damage. I don't know if Junzo has it here. I don't know how much gear Junzo has. Yeah, I don't know how much gear Junzo has. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I got grabbed by Junzo. Heal him. Heal him. That's fine. PBs? Right, right, ping your B. Ping your B from Junzo. I'm, I'm Junzo can't Gamble, get, get a heal off, man. They just chip in Junzo down throughout this. That's crazy. See an AOS. You see an AOS, right just, everybody's so tanky that like you can't really you chip down people as much. Like in here, you could chip people down. Chunzo is just right getting now. chipped down. Oh, look what? Chunzo B. I have the sniff and we win the game. I'm over here. He's being over here. No. Ah, uh, I'm in. I got caught. I'll be okay. They're going to convert onto me. We just have to get a catch on Chunzo. Flowers on the ground, he beat. Bro, why are they going on our man? I grabbed him, this is the win, this is the win, this is the win. No way. All you. He's gonna stand up, he's gonna- Bro, he's peeling Armin. Do you guys not realize he's DP? Go on the hash. He's hittable now. I get it's a hash, it's annoying, but dude. I got the two off you. He died to us, we play slow. I'm going to flowers. I'm going to flop. Grab them, he rest. You know what it is? All three of those guys live in AOS. And I don't yeah. think they realize this is an AOS, man. It's a different game. Yeah. I don't know. I want you to play real safe. I mean, just too good. Nice on the ground. Two dice. Nice. All right, they're the chokers, man. They are officially the chokers. But I said it as it started. I was like, I made a mistake, bro. Armin's team looking pretty solid now. With Armin on DP, especially, this is pretty solid. I got him. Double sun. 
Fuck. Oh, I don't have damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give up. Wait, wait, I think my tornado can kill them. If he stands there. Nice, I'm my DK. Also, wasn't. See, DP ain't the play, bro. Like, I, I, I had said it. If Travis used DP, I knew that wasn't going to work out too well. I'm pretty sure I said that. I didn't think that was the right move. But whatever, it was a nice try. Yeah, like, bro, they chose... Yeah, they lost the 2v3. Oh, guys, the they chose to go DP Ninja. I mean, I... I don't know how they did that. Yeah, it's not a great comp. Also, there's not much accuracy there, you know? They're gonna struggle for evasion anyway. If they're not losing here, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna reach a cap somewhere else. That's not Armin being good, but Armin is not, just because whether or not you play well in the match, it's not just that, dude. It's your your comms. That's what I said, bro. I literally gave some of these rounds to teams having comp diffs. I mean, a comm diffs. You know, teams that are gonna communicate better and have people with more experience in comms to call shit out better. Notice Armin immediately first round. As soon as he grabs Junzo, he says Junzo's e buff. He's gonna get right back up. Don't commit. That calling shit out like that is huge. People don't make those calls. So if somebody grabs Junzo and doesn't say he's ebuffed, he's gonna get right back up. Somebody else might see Junzo on the ground, run over there to fucking drop damage or ECC him, and then get caught because Junzo stands right back up and grabs him, and then they lose. So that's how big of a difference it is to call shit out like that. And that's why Armin fucking wins and does so well. He's actually on point with that shit. Yeah, Armin comms carried that. So again, Armin god tier gamer. Not doesn't just because not just play style. There's more to playing. There's more to being a good gamer than just the playing. Just the actual you know keyboard and mouse. There's so much more to it. The good player, which is Florang. This is Florang's team. A lot of people are looking forward to this. Bath soap. Two years on suck track. Top rack player for the top two guild with little gear. Yeah, he doesn't have much gear. That's what I was saying. It's it, his gear is going to be his weakness. Um, illiterate. Timeline class, tree fitty. I don't know what the fuck that means. Accomplishments. Top frag player for top two guild with little gear. Oh, uh, if Illiterate doesn't have... Unless this is a typo. If Illiterate doesn't have big gear, this is going to be rough. Because that means Fla uh, Florang's the only one here with gear. Yeah, no, nah, I don't think it's about Florang. I think it's about these two. Like, I, my, my note on this matchup is... It's going to be Operation Keep Bad Soap Alive. While Bad Soap, you know... He's the VIP. He's Mr. President. Not even Mr. President. He's Mr. President when Arnold Schwarzenegger was president in, in you know, stories in, in, in The Simpsons, right? You know, he's he's going to be the Terminator. He's going to have crazy damage and shit like that, but he's... He, if he hits the ground, it's over, and Suck, suck Track's easy to hit the ground on. Illiterate is geared? Okay. I st I'm not... I, I, no offense to Illiterate. I like him. He's a, He was cool. He was a good caller in Crawling Chaos. I had a great time with him in there, but... I have. I don't know if he has the experience for this three v three small scale stuff. But he is a shot caller. Whether or not he still shot calls, he is a shot caller. He's, he's shot called. That means he's good on comms. Style drag and drop. I don't know who the fuck drag and drop is. Like, is it, so this team style is a oh, styles on suck Zerk? not drag. They change a lot of teams. Top one hundred AOS season two. Drag and drop. Drew a picture of a rabbit that got him two gold stars in third grade. CTG, six months on the class. Okay, he's got six months on it. It's longer than I thought. Dragon drops only six months on a Wolf Valk, though. That's not enough for 3v3, dude. Best large-scale PvP player in the world. Potentially. Not a bad not, not a bad assessment. He kind of, he kind of, he, he, that might be him. He might be him. Very first tournament. Yeah, see, he doesn't, is this actually his very first tournament? He's not a tournament player, bro. I still, I think this is the better players. But... It's not the best experience. It's not, you know, drag and drop. I don't know who the fuck that is. I don't think he AOS is. I don't think he's a 3v3 player. CTG, he AOS a bit, but he's not, you know, tournament experience. And Style, I don't think he has tournament experience. He does have AOS experience, but he's on Suck Zerk, which I've never seen him play. So, I don't have, like, the highest hopes for this team. Um, who did I pick to win this one, though? Javala Tims, Dale McMuffin. I gave it to Javala Tims. Because I think CTG doesn't have anyone who's going to run him down in this matchup. So, even though he's a, you know, a newer Sakwusa, as good as Sakwusa is, I feel like if there's a team, like, if an Armin will be grabbing him left and right, right? But that team, I don't think they're going to be able to pressure him into making a mistake. I think CTG is going to be in his comfort zone and feel like he's in no war where he can just run his rotations and he's going to get his CCs. Is that a typo? Oh, it was a typo. Okay, I was worried, bro. I was worried. Bro, how many typos these motherfuckers oh, okay. gonna do? Okay, so that, that changes a little bit. I, 
I think this team okay. composition is the best composition you can have. Then I'm back to being confident they can win. It, sure, he does great in large scale and 15 versus 15 bad so, but 3v3, I don't know how it's gonna go. The open world terrorism. But I'm down to I'm down to see how it goes. Oh, still better than Warrior, yeah. Warrior, you lose gear score. And Bobo is the lowest gear on Steam, so Let's see how that goes. But if anyone's gonna do it, it's gonna be Bobo, so. Florang goes right in. Yeah, see, Florang's gonna go hyper aggro. They're gonna need a literate to go aggro. Bad Soap stayed in the back. You see what I'm saying? See how Bad Soap just sat in the back? Okay. Now they're in the fight, though. Bad Soap's is in the fight. The track. Which track is wild? That's best. Is that. I'm having trouble keeping track of who's who. Because Florang's fucking character name is Style. Just to confuse us. So there's two styles in here. But CTG's low. I don't know if CTG beat already. I have a feeling he might have. They're pressuring style right now. The real style. Bad soap. I'm pretty sure I just storm hit the ground. Bad Soap's actually staying in there though. He might not, if he throws on like a Cadring or two, he makes up for the DP. Yeah, he loses AP, but it's okay because they could just keep standing and trading. You know, they had the Valk, little utility to keep them up. A PA here, a heal there, that can keep them afloat. As long as he doesn't get popped instantly. Which, if he throws on an electric DP, that's how that goes. CTG's, CTG's dead. I did say inexperience on the class is going to come into play here. And it did. Dragon Drop hits the ground. Okay. That's a double flooring. It's hard to tell what the fuck's happening when you they, they when they put the camera on the fucking Kuno. Don't put the camera on the Kuno, man. He's teleporting around the whole time. It makes it so much harder to track who you're watching. Put the camera on the slow ass suck track. There we go. At least now you know you have a steady camera. Ah. I mean, what is the upset? Because I, I don't feel like there was a, a clear winner in this. Blue watching you right now? Where is he? I got you, Ting. I see you, homie. Okay. Oh, we're on Alliterate. Still better to watch than Florang. Anybody about Florang, I can't see what the hell is happening. Style on the ground. Style Veed. That's an awake track in V right now. I don't really see anyone going hard to sniff. Actually, Florang looked for a sniff. They didn't get it, though. I see Florang's health bar going up. I mean, uh... Styles' health bar going up. But he's grabbed again. He's gonna die here. Styles dead. Wow. I, 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 I'm kind of surprised still, though. I don't, I don't know. I feel like maybe they just didn't have a game plan. See, they didn't have a heavy team captain. You know, like somebody with experience, you know, like... That le I, I, you need leadership experience in this shit. That's why Armin was so useful. You know, like, I'm guessing Alliterate, you know, is being super communicative in this match. And then on that team, who's doing it? Styles kind of timid in comms. CTG, I never really... I feel like I might have had him in AOS, but... I, I, he seems more like a quiet type, too. Like, there's no one... You know, I feel like they're just playing it out. They're just sending it. Like, it's a fucking node war. And now CTG is the last one standing. I'm guessing Bad Soap put on a little extra DP somehow. It, that, it's still an upset, though. See, I, I'm pretty sure I doubted CTG's team, and people were like, nah, CTG's goaded. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Because I was like, dude, he's kind of newer to Wusa, and I think Sunshine was like, dude, he's been on it as long as me. He's been on it a while. Six doesn't matter how long you've been on it in Node Wars. It matters how long you've been on it in small scale. That's what makes the difference. And he wasn't, he wasn't on it like that. Which team was which? Dale McMuffin. Florang's team. I did have Florang losing, right? I did. Fuck. Okay. All right. I'm wrong with two matches so far. I think Blue watched... Remember we were going over to teams? I have a feeling Blue watched... Because Blue was in my stream. He started talking yesterday. Maybe he took, took the things I was saying. I was like, I'm going to use these for my... You know, when I'm talking about the teams. And he's just repeating everything I said, bro. Fuck. That sneaky... That sneaky motherfucker. Um... Because past the Pete, I think... Who did I pick to win this? I picked Sniffer to win this. I love details. Dabin's a monster. But 
This is three experienced AOS players. Although Aryan on the Suck Ninja, it could it could backfire. But I heard he swapped. He used to be DR. I heard he swapped to Evasion. And I heard Akari swapped to Evasion. If they're both on Evasion, they're both tanky enough to not, like, instantly pop, right? Sure, a Wake Valk buff might help them, but I don't think I've seen Pastor Pete on a Wake Valk. See, I told you he was watching. Yeah, he came in yesterday. It was weird while I was going over to teams and was like, um, it should be a fun tournament or whatever, and, like, was trying to, like, be cool. Um... All right, we're watching details POV. I like that. Yeah, that's what I said. Pete is a good Zerk. Pete and, and they details, you know, Pete on Zerk details on Wizard used to 2VX like Cho when I was in Cho. So, but, I mean, they're, they're, they work so well together, details and Pete, that you can't you expect them, you know, you, you can't really doubt them too much. They have, like, a great synergy for, two, for 2v2. Obviously, it's 3-3, three, three, so it's a little different. I, I don't know if they have a plan on who to go for. Details get gripped. He, 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 they, they surrounded him and then just one bomb rushed him. That's a V. Uh, Pete is staying right on top of him, which is pulling the enemy team to him. But he healed him, but it's not enough. Through, he made it so obvious that's where he was Ving. So much for synergy. That's probably a wrap, unless he could pop Rossity here, but I don't think Rossity just dies like that. Yes, V. Rossity is a gamer, bro. I've spent hours 1v1ing Rossity on multiple classes. He knows what he's doing on that class. And I've watched him 1v1 top players. He got the V off just in time. He's fine here. That's it. He's out of the fight. There's no way the Valk gets behind him. He just sits here and heals. Pass to Pete's in the middle. Rossi's just healing. They're just all playing slow. Somebody got gripped by the ninja, which means... Yep. Enemy just went down. Okay, that's it. See, what they did was they literally went to three... If the arena's a circle, they went to three different points of the arena. So that details has to look three different... You know, you can't focus three different directions at once. And then details ended up ending up right in the middle of the map. So that they literally had him uh, a triangle around him, you know, positioned around him, and then the ninja just fucking popped him. Thank you, Sniffa. And of course, this is Team Sniffa. If, if you V, you're dead. Akari's literally got the biggest nose in the world. Details, I think, burnt two TPs, but he's positioned in a corner, which isn't bad, but, uh,. No, he's still standing. Pastor Pete's getting a little blown up. So is Arian. Details just moving around. Details, I love that man. So sexy on the wizard. No one does it like him. They're playing. So Davin got stub arrowed and Davin V'd. And that's it. Team Sniffer. Let's see. Akari's got his nose open. Pastor Pete. Pastor Pete fucking brought him to Davin again. He literally gave away the sniff location again, but the corner of the fucking arena is a bugged area. If you V to that corner, there's a good chance the wall eats the damage. So you, even if you get sniffed... No, didn't work for the details. He wasn't close enough. Bro, you're fighting Team Sniffer. Come on, you gotta have a plan for when they sniff, man. When they V. Don't make it so obvious. I guess there's nothing you can do. You know they're gonna get sniffed, but... Maybe, I mean, save the vacuum for the V, maybe. So if somebody Vs, you put the vacuum right in front so that, that Akari can't get past it to, I don't know. I don't know what you do there. I mean, that's why I had that match going with fucking Sniffer 2-0. And it was 2-0 Sniffer in that first round. I want that first round real quick. Okay, perfect timing. I'm a natural. Okay, so details. I want to see if he burnt his TPs yet. Like, what happened there? to start around details didn't be yet he's definitely got his, his TPs at this point so he TPs to the middle works on a little movement still has one TP okay he's got both TPs up right now uh, I wish we had maps on that's the thing oh no it's pissed feet okay yeah the... dude Arian right there goes to the right Block jumps. He's lucky details didn't get gripped there. I think the, I think he tried to block jump details there, but he got caught on the ledge due to some like weird buggy ledge shit. 
But so Arian's all the way over there. The ninja's all the way over there. Details is in the middle. He does one dash. I keep thinking that's Arian when I watch this. And then Arian flies over and he doesn't see it coming. Because he started looking like, do I go here or do I go there? That's what he was thinking. And then boom. That sucks, man. He tried. I think he PA'd there, maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. This felt quite mismatched. It's not mismatched, man. I mean, maybe, yeah. I think, if, bro, if Pastor Pete was on Zerk, I think that was a different match. That's why I... Motherfucker should have consulted me, man. <laughs> that's, that sucks. Sure I have Kinshino winning this, uh, which is this Death team. Grips, uh, this is Death Grips. Yeah, Death Grips is a good DK. Three accounts, top 12 DK AOS. Point five for 20 on courting women, weird. Ice, seven years on Valk. Third in the best in guild tournament. My bad, my bad. Because I just saw second and then third. I thought these were like his, his accomplishments. You get what I'm saying? My bad, my bad. Bro, there's a lot of reading going on here, man. Th and there was a few typos today. So now I'm like doubting shit that I read. I'm all fucked up. Greed's image. I don't know who the fuck this is. That's my problem here. Part of why I rooted against this team. Yeah, I'm a warrior, man. Cut me some slack. The problem with this team is I don't know if they are geared enough. Like, unless they catch the DK, I don't think... I think Ice is super geared. And I know Choice is fucking hard capped out the ass. Like, if they catch Choice, he ain't dying. If they catch Ice, I doubt he's dying. So they gotta catch the DK. But DK is obviously the hardest one out of those three to catch. So I just feel like this team just leans... This it, It's just stacked against them. Emma Watson's a really good tamer, though. And I've seen them do really well in 15 versus 15. So they actually do have gear, I think. Awake Megu destroys DR, but... I don't know, man. This is uncapped. 3v3. I don't know how geared Greed's is. This is all different, man. Awake Megu. Oh, Greed's has been on Awake Megu since it came out? Awake Megu? That could be pig. That means he might be super comfy on this on the on the class. Now, Static Wing, what's up, homie? Suck it. Welcome back, man. Thank you for the sub, bro. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a good day, man. We're, uh, we're just chilling today. We're just gonna watch this 20. Fuck it. Yo, I'll make life easy for once. I get to just sit back and have fun. Bobo's gonna be round nine? Okay. This is like round six or seven. We're watching another teleport class instead of watching a class that just like, we, sh we should be on the classes that don't have the mobility, but whatever. All right, we're on DK. Death Grip's already getting chunked by shit. Oh my God, he's already at half health. Emma Watson's just on his shit. He's gonna have to just start kiting like crazy. Too much damage for DKs, man. This is an AOS. Damage is big out here. These classes blow up when there's AOE. Choice went down to 30% health already. Choice got a grip, though. I think that was... I think there was a V there. I think Choice is looking for a sniff right now. Yeah, I think Death Grip got the sniff, but he's not following it up. Oh, yeah, it was. Okay. The Valk got up, but still died. Oh, that was another V sniff. Two V sniffs for Death Grip in one fucking match. Possibly three. That might have been one too. I don't know. DK, bro. DK's just fucked up. DK's fucked up. Oh, we're ready in the next match. Okay. Alright, at least we're watching Ice. A little slower POV. Somebody's at their Valk's already at half health though. Choice is holding somebody, possibly in V. I think that was yeah, he grabbed the Valk. I, I, he put the Valk in the grab. Valk V'd while in Choice's arms. And then Choice extended it. Valk died out of V. That's another problem here. You know, you're going up against Choice. If you're t if you're not somebody tanky enough to stay alive while he grips and extends, and you're forced to V, you're done, dude. It's a wrap. Just like that. Get outplayed by fucking Zerker. Get out outplayed by one button. Wake Megu's just dying standing. Fucking team already blew up. I mean, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Yeah, Choice is actually, like, hard, hard capped. Yeah, if you V, you gotta get out of the, the Zerker's arms, for sure. That should be a thing. The grab shouldn't hold you while you're in V. Once you V, you should be free. But, BBL. Oh, well, we waited, like, 20 minutes. And we got a two-minute match. They're saying the Megu did no damage. 
And so he was trying to use Twirling Rhapsody on the Valkyrie, just like in that clip from Christianity, like a couple months ago, mm -hmm. um, where like he's just Twirling Rhapsody around them in a circle, like over and over again without them being able to grab you. And then like they're- Blue looks like he's a step away from a heart attack right now. And then you just kill the Valkyrie. I think that's what their strategy was, but like Ice just kept disengaging with hot Holy shit. And it just didn't I work, didn't look at him yet. Uh, sadly. So like, yeah, I mean- Have some water, man. Does look really good when you play it super well, but like sadly they weren't able to kind of get on top of it. Maybe he was screaming during that match. I had him muted. He rhapsody like twice. I mean, listen, it's easier to say random shit. It's easier just to say random shit. He don't know, bro. Half these, bro, he's got like half of these viewers. There's 1,600 people in here. At least 800 of them never PvP'd in BDO. You know, so bro, they, he could just say anything. He could make up skill names and they'll be like, oh shit, cool. It don't fucking matter. All right, what do we got? Pink's Combat Mahiru. Um. Match eight. Console boys and lazy lazy noodles. I think lazy noodles win. So this is console boys. Combat um, a gangster ass awake wizard. I think he they listed him for suck. I'm pretty sure he's on suck wizard, but I I would prefer to see him on awake wizard. I know he mains awake wizard, but in the dock they had him listed as suck wizard. I'm not sure what he's actually going to be on because this whole tournament has been full of typos. Um, Mahiru, Pinks, I don't know who either of those players are, but it's a Suck Mewa and a Suck Kuno. Suck Mewa without gear is a problem, and if they're actually console boys, there's a good chance that both of these guys have no fucking gear. Plays with controller, only hits 95% of himself. Best Suck Kuno console, that's cool. Best Suck Mewa console. Apparently, they're actually console gangsters, allegedly. But, again, if they didn't buy these accounts and they actually grinded, I doubt they grinded enough gear to matter. Um, Akari Vouch for Pinks. It's about the gear, though. This isn't AOS. This is AOA. This is about... Oh, he ha has gear. I assumed they didn't have gear, so I had console boys losing this. I also... I mean, to be fair, though, they're going up against a serious team. They're going up against Lazy Noodles, which I'll wait till they swap over to it. They're, they're gamers, but they're not gamer classes, so anything can happen, but... I have a good feeling this is going to be Woke Wiz getting gripped, and then Suck Me we're getting gripped when he comes to peel, and just getting blown up. So you got Larry Fish, Kuma Queen, Nudes. These are three top AOS players. They all, I think they've all had rank one. This is, I think Larry Fish has had rank one. Maybe he will, maybe he never got it, but I thought he did have it. Um, nudes, AOS, overall season two. Okay, wait, what? What about season three? Who got the top Kuno this season? I'm checking with my sources. Oh, he was ranked two this season too. I'm pretty sure if Nudes had rank one in one season, but maybe not. Um, regardless, they're they're three top two players in AOS. You know what I mean for their classes, which doesn't just mean they're good players. It means they're good. They're all. I don't know. Nudes. I don't think uses comms. I don't think I've ever heard him in comms. But Kuma Queen and Larry are both commers. <laughs> they're coomers. They talk a lot. All right. So they're both gonna be calling shit out. They're good. They're yeah, they're, they're familiar with that shit. They're ready for this. And obviously Nudes is too, because even though he doesn't really use a mic in AOS, from my experience, he fucking gets rank 1, rank 2, so... Kuma Queen's only been on Mystic 2 years, that's nuts. Very complicated class, surely. Uh, 4 years suck Valk, 8 years Valk, okay. I'm surprised he's staying on the suck Valk for this, Larry. But, I mean... It's respectable. Yeah, he's never used a microphone. Okay, Nudes doesn't talk, there it is, right there. Oh, that threw me off so much. Nudes has a different family name now, I guess. Oh, no, watching uh the other team just, just totally threw me off. Because I forgot who the other team was real quick. But Larry Fish is on the ground. Nudes is dying. I think Nudes... Nudes feed and died. He got sniffed. Holy, the console boys are popping off. Okay, now I got, now I got the steam. This could 2v3, though. 2v3 can happen here. If Maywa gets caught the right way, a 2v3 can happen. I ain't giving up on my AOS homies. Come on, Kuma Queen. I'm rooting against the console boys. There you have it, all right? Larry, these are my AOS homies, okay? Gotta root for them. I mean, Combat's also a gangster. Combat's a very cool dude. Uh, Larry's gripped, but let's see. Can Larry just stand through it? Yeah, Larry just gets up. He says, fuck that shit. I'm a Valk. He gets the CC. He almost blows up this guy, but he doesn't get a re-CC. Come on, that's, that's a shame. Kuma Queen, I, I just saw a V, bro. Somebody V. Possibly crashed since Blue just got kicked off the character. Now we're watching combat on the Wolf Wiz. I, you know what? This might be an issue. They might be going for combat, but they might not have, they, you know, they might not have the damage for combat. 
I think that might have been their problem with that round. They might have to switch the game plan, and maybe they'll do better next match. Larry's gripped here, but he should get up. He gets up again. I can't believe Nudes died so fast. Hopefully, Nudes got some DP to put on, because if he was alive right now, clearly they would be winning. They just need him to not die. They can. The other two can fucking stand and bang through the shit. Larry's on the ground again and gets up, dude. Holy shit. The, the, the fuck? Somebody CC there. Maywa or Kuno? So low. The Kuno. The Kuno's really low. 25%. He's running for his life. Combat's at 52. I think the HP got lowered because of the one minute. Everybody's at half health now. Okay. That's actually... That might be better for, for Larry and Kuma if the HP's lowered. But Larry... Yeah, the thing is now Larry... He gets up again? Did he V? I think he V'd. Yeah, he V'd. That was a sniff. Larry's dead. Okay. But now they see it. Fucking... As long as Nooch doesn't die immediately, they can fucking throw down. I, I hope they're allowed to swap here for Nooch's sake. That was interesting. Okay. So Nooch thinks something was bugged. And that's why he died like that. That can make sense. That did seem wrong, dude. I, I, I feel like Nudes is... I'm pretty sure Nudes is really fucking geared. So I was kind of surprised that he died like that, too. That, that, that would make some more sense. I, I thought something was wrong, dude. I didn't expect Nudes to be running like a glass cannon set up like that. That would have been fucking numb. Because even in AOS, he runs like a tanky setup. Okay, the match is actually on this time. There was a CC. Can't tell. Oh, no, Nudes. Is that Nudes? Nudes, Nudes almost dead again. Nudes literally just getting blown up. He barely missed getting sniffed there, but that's not looking good for him. He's 1v1ing one a Maywa right now. Which is doable. But that, his team is going down too. They're losing health. All right, he got his HP back. But he doesn't have V now. If he gets caught, he's just dead. I don't know why he's so squishy. Kuma Queen's gripped, but uh, if they just grab the Maywa here, the Maywa did not get gripped, but the Maywa didn't get that much damage off, so I, I, I'm pretty sure Kuma was fine. Maybe that was a PA. I'm assuming Larry PA'd there, because Kuma took no damage on the ground. I like this Maywa POV, because this is where you're going to see if it happens. When someone gets CC'd, you're going to see this Maywa go in. If this Maywa doesn't get gripped, the match is... Th 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 they're fucked. Wizard... Low health. I don't know if he beat. Okay, that time we're on Kuma. See, there's no peel there. But she got back up. Dude. See, like, that's how tanky they should be. I I'm pretty sure something's fucked for nudes. And now he can't really get into the fight. He's squishier than he should be. But he's just sitting out of the fight. They, I don't think they have a good game plan, man. They look like they just... They don't have a plan. Nudes on the ground again. He's gonna die here. Oh, he got up. I don't think he got re would The Kunos... The other enemy Kunos on the ground. I'm calling them enemy. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at fucking Nudes team. Like the fucking hero team here. Wizard down. Okay. It's a 1-1 match. They finally... They, they did it. They finally pulled it off. That was a long round. Maybe they're going to realize now they have to wait to the one minute mark and then just pop off. Kudo and Maywa could do a ton of damage, but... Again, it's 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 peelable damage. You know? Once that Maywa comes in, he's locked into a position when he starts drawing damage. Obviously, you could dash in between skills, but... They're not, like, it, very... They're not quick enough skills where it's not... You, you know, there's three grabs on this team. So when the Maywa comes in for damage... One dash for Larry, one dash for Kuma Queen, and it's a grip. And the May was done. We're watching Larry now, which is much better. Just nice, slow POV. Maybe too slow. I'm falling asleep with the Q block walk. But he's doing what he's got to do. He just walked in there and got a grip. I can't tell who it was on, but... Okay, it was on the Wizard. Wizard feed with 20% health. Larry's going for a sniff towards their spawn. I don't think they got it. And the Wizard's down, bro. He, he, I don't know if that was actually a sniff or he just got caught right after V, but that's a wrap. I mean, three grips. Once the wizard V's, he's low health. They're going to get a grab on him. He's not going to dodge the grab. 
This is kind of fucked for them. If I were them, I would just hard int nudes here. Maybe he's bugged. Maybe he's got some extra low DP for some reason. Maybe you get a lucky kill, but it's, it's yeah, it's too hard to pull that off. Console Ninja didn't console Kuno. Oh, there he goes. Now he bees. Okay, nudes on the ground. He didn't have to be there. He got peeled. That was it right there. If that Mayweather blew him up, it would have been a wrap. That, not a wrap, but it would have been back on. But this, I think they missed, that's it. They missed their chance. They have no Vs now, so yeah, there you go. They would just got blown up. And that's it. Good control of PvP 24. Must be Mayor, right? Must be nice. Huh? Apparently you could game on control though, on like a lot of classes. I don't know. Uh, bro, when I watch because Warriors, you know, like to me, I'm not gonna look at Warrior like it's a crazy APM class, but there's a lot of skills on Warrior. And apparently, like bro, if you watch console warrior montages, they basically do everything. They do it almost like a like PC Warriors. It's, don't sleep on the controller. It's not, it's a meme. It's more of a meme. It's more of a meme. It's just the insult, but if you're going to be serious about it, it uh, it's, it's not, too, it's not much of a difference in my opinion. Yes, that's the thing, because the camera. Like, there's a lot of screen flicking you do in BDO. Like, I keep my sensitivity super high, specifically for BDO. Otherwise, I would keep my sensitivity low, because for shooters, I like low sensitivity. Alright, Lazy Noodles. I had it 2-0, but 2-1, we'll take it. The thing is, I, I want, like, I, dude, I would love to see Azalea win on the suck lawn, because you don't see that fucking happen. If he does, that just shows he's, he's a big dick. Just a gangster. But I feel like, dude, it's so unlikely for this comp to make it and win overall. But then again, if they could beat this team, they could fucking win. But then, of course, we want to root for the Warrior. We're rooting for Bobo, so. I'm indifferent on this one. I don't have a favorite. I mean, I have, I expect Bobo's team to win. Dale, Big Muffin, and Tavala teamies. As Look at Bobo, five. baby. Eight years on forward? Warrior, man. He's been on Warrior know. since this game came out, man. Holy shit. Well, they have support, right? I, it depends how you define support. I mean, Awake Striker, Awake Corsair, you got two grabs. Also, Lefond is a little inexperienced on Awake Corsair. He doesn't have too much time on it. So he's more of a suck, suck uh, Corsair. Which, dude, if he was suck Corsair, I feel like that would be better in this matchup. I think that's another situation where people, he based what he, you know, the, what people say, he let that influence his, his choice. Because Suck, Corsair is really, I've went up against Suck Corsair in tournament settings, in 3v3, and it's really annoying when you're a shield class. And there's two shield classes here, that would have been really useful if he ran high DP. And if he was, uh, you know, his usual, like, high DP self on Suck Corsair, even with the Valk buff, he wouldn't be getting blown up, I'll tell you that. Ooh, this is an exciting one, dude. We're watching Azalea? We're watching Lefon, though. Okay. Bro, put us on Bobo. Come on. Put us on the Warrior POV, man. How are you going to do that to us? It's because Blue hates Warriors, bro. <coughs> All right, they're doing slow. Azalea did not dive in this time. My heart's pounding, dude. I feel like I'm in this fight. Divio's just e buff running around. Hopefully they're stalling. No HP bars are moving yet. Bobo got a grip. Chief is on the ground. Chief is a striker. An evasion striker. Gets up with half health. Grabs Raiden. Bobo's half health too. Bobo runs away with 17% health. Peace Walker at 50% health. Azalea team all full fucking HP. Bobo's down to 30. He got healed. Val healed. He's back up. He's back in the fight. Bobo gets a fat CC. Somebody's getting stomped right now. Azalea. I think Azalea V'd. They're not looking for a V-sniff. Bobo just backed off for the V-sniff. Azalea's out. Azalea's flying around. He's back in the sky. Safe zone. Hard to see who's on the ground. Uh, Chief is on the ground, 50%. Azalea is still low. He can't really do too much peeling or else he'll die. Chief is backing out the heal. But they don't have a healer on the team, so Chief on the ground again. He's forced to V. This is the music for this. This is it. Spotify knows, man. 
Leifonda just gets walked up and grabbed by Divios. It's still going. They found the beat out. They found the beat out. Chief. All right, they're healing up, dude. These motherfuckers are putting in work right now. They're not going down easy. Come on, Azalea. Uh, Tivio's just looking for Lafonda. I think he just missed the grab there, though. Azalea on the ground again. There's no way he gets up. Nah, Azalea's down. But. Oh, no, that's Wukuku on the ground. All right. Not looking good. Chief down to 5%. Bro, they almost had it. They almost fucking had it, man. All right, that's just one round, though. That's just one round. Are they going to stall for e-buffs? No. Whew. Bobo, the butt, the warrior butt clench. Ran to the middle of the arena, Q block, just praying nobody hits him with a back attack and kills him. Didn't need to be. That's, that's it. He's him. Didn't even need to be. Not even close. Knew he was fine. Trusted, trusted in the warrior. Raiden caught him with the fat heel. I would love to be a fly in their fucking... I would love to hear their comms. Suck line is the weak link. Yeah. It's a bad comp, bro. They have bad classes in this match. You know, it's not a good matchup. Th that's why it's like... I, I kind of want to root for them because it's like... Dude, if they could pull this off, that's nuts. All right. We got the Warrior POV. Thank you, Blue. Bobo just playing it safe. Divios is on the ground. D Bobo gets gripped... Raiden peels immediately, though, so Boba gets right back up. He's still getting getting hurt standing, but then he healed back up. I think Raiden popped the heal. I'm guessing Chief just V'd? Yeah, Chief V'd. He got out of V. Okay, though. But he's down. He's low HP, 50%. Problem is, Azurlia has no way to really CC here. He's just... He's just... He's just a damage pressure annoyance. He's a gnat. Boba on the ground again to Spiral Cannon. That's twice this round he got caught by that. But... That's possibly a PA this time. I can't tell. Uh. Oh, that was a V-sniff on Lefonda. That had to be a V-sniff. Lefonda's down. I, I, I don't think uh, Wake Corsair was the play. I think Lefonda being a Wake Corsair instead of Suck Corsair was worse than having the Suck line on the team. But Divio's on the ground. But they can't get enough damage out. Raiden just heals him. Maybe Valk, is, Valk really is just the perfect class to have in here. The heals, the PA, act buff. If you can't have Shizer ban, settle for Valk. Second best thing. Can't ban Valks. They're not giving up, but this is tough. The Spiral Cannon didn't catch Bobo, so that's it. Bobo just can shield block now and grab. That's it. Damn. Awakening Valk is really strong in there, bro. That's why you guys won that, if not for the Valk. If not for Bobo getting healed to full health by the Valk. And wherever those PAs were, I'm sure they made a huge difference. I think Leifonda... If Leifonda was on Suck Corsair, you might have had that, but... Nice try, dude. I was rooting for you. You guys did really good. Did really good. As good... I mean... It, it, it was limited. You can only go so far. Um... This, I think, meta Humpers lose. I don't know who these people are. I don't know Yongi. I don't know Fabi. I kind of remember MVI. But... Suck Wizard, Suck Sage. I don't like seeing those two on the same team. So. And this guy's only got six months on Suck Wizard. Has only been playing a top three, six months. Is top fracking in the third Siege Guild. I don't know. Uh, that, that, that's, top fracking in a Siege Guild doesn't mean shit in AOA. That's the problem. I had the GOATs. Right? Yeah, I have the GOATs too. Alright, match is starting. Everybody shut up. Sit up. Pull up. Quiet down. We're watching Fabi. I, I, this is what I wear on my wizard. I like that outfit, man. That cape goes hard on the wizard. Instantly grabbed. Stealth. Godicus is a stealth ninja confirmed. He always does it, man. I was GBG him the other day, and on my and he was just stealth, sitting in stealth at the, the safe zone, killing, pe picking people off as they respawn. He's such a rat. But it, it works. It works. We got the V. But, but he just got forced to V. He's now in V. He got out. No sniff. Anything can happen in BDO, man. LJ, what's up? Gripped again. Caster should die. Caster just blows up here. Caster's dead. Sage is 50%. Yongi Veed, that's the Drac. That's the Sage's teammate. So I'm assuming that's Team No V at this point. They're squaring up. I'm hoping they're coming up with a plan right now. I don't know what the plan's gonna be. It's gotta be to catch Godicus. 
they have to try to catch Godekiss. If he's in stealth, no, he's not. Yeah, if he goes stealth, Drax should just drop a shift down B and try to catch him. He did, but they both ended up on the ground. <laughs> so it's over. <laughs> Somehow, that backfired immediately. And that's a wrap. Round one. Team Super Armor versus Team Grab. See, you're starting to pick things up. Um, Valk may not have gear. Uh, no, Valk has gear. The Valk has gear. Swid is confirmed geared. Oh, Drac. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Drac, maybe. That's the thing. Drac, like, my gear, you're going to get tripped hard. You got to be like, you want to be hard. The hard cap Dracs are the ones that shine in here. That's why, like, Flowers. Flowers lost. He's out. Because he's my gear. He looked like he was paper in his match. Godicus is going hard on who I think is the caster. Godicus got pinched though. He's on the ground. He V's. Bad V. He didn't get far at all. But nobody sniffed him. Fabi tried to, but he wasn't quick enough. Because he doesn't have the small scale experience. He would have got that sniff if he knew how you know how quick. A little more practice. I think he could have had that sniff. Oh, but Godicus got CC'd by a random missile. He's gonna get back up. He gets back up. He's just going to hang back and heal up, play it safe. No reason for him to end. They can play super slow. Not much happening here. Swid's getting chipped away, though. Swid's, Swid's down the half. But he can always heal that back up as uh, Valve does. Block jump, nothing. Okay, Wizard got fucked. Wizard got fucked on. I don't know. He didn't V, though. It looks like he just TP'd out and healed. But now Godicus is on him. He's still standing. He's running for his life, but Godicus is staying on his ass. See, he could just spam CCs towards Godicus, and Godicus is going to... Oh, they all, they, they all died during that. Holy shit. I didn't even notice. This whole team went down while I was watching Godicus chase the Wizard. That was a bad angle on the camera. That must have happened right behind the camera. Holy shit. I was like, I was just looking at Godicus and the wizard, and I was like, bro, there's such low health. Who's going to get who? And then all of a sudden, I was like, wait, his team's dead. Holy shit. Somebody has damage elsewhere. The spectating is always rough in BDO. They, it's not it's not ideal. I don't like the character lock, but it's better for the, uh, it's easier for the casters, so they don't have to be bothered doing anything. Oh, man. I don't really care who wins this, so I, I'm not really rooting for anyone. I put my money on Godicus, so I'm ho I guess if anything, I hope that team wins, but I don't really have a preference here. They're just playing it really slow. I think they're worried Godicus is in stealth. I can't tell if he is because the camera angle is fucking trash. Switch just dives on in. MVI dodged a grab from Godicus, TP'd out, I think. Or he got gripped and TP'd, and we just didn't get to see it because of desync, but I'm not, I don't think that's what happened. Yonki's on the grounds. He's squishy. He gets up. He should heal up. He V'd. That might have been a really bad V. I think he could have, I don't think he needed to V that. He could have did drag healing. Now he's fucked if he gets gripped. Godakiz is going to stay up his ass. Oh, and the wizard just blew up. Wizard just got exploded. 2v3 right now. Drac has no V. Godakiz is low, though. Oh, oh, if he turned, bro, he could have had the V-sniff. All he had to do was turn his fucking shift L and B. He would have caught him right out of V. He just missed it on Godicus. That would have been it. It would have been 2v2. But he's on the ground, and that should be it for him. Wait, he, no, people are CC'd. He gets back up. Oh, he died. It's still kind of possible for the Sage if he gets a lucky kill on Godicus, But, nah, he ain't getting it. They're just going to play safe the healing. They're keeping their distance. Sage has no pressure if you have, you know what I mean? If you're not pressured to fight the Sage, you can just back away and heal. But they said, fuck it. We know we got this. They, they jumped into him, grabbed him. V. Didn't get the sniff, though. Oh. Oh. All right. That's that. Another one in the books as expected. I'm fucking good at this shit, man. He's a godlike wizard? I didn't even realize that. Um, but... Okay, I guess he won wizard.
He's going to be on Sakawusa. Precision's a weak track. Apparently, he's really good on it. 600 hours. I hope that's not true. I'm pretty sure... Nothing. What a loser. He has no accomplishments. That's not true. He's the rank one... Um, they're downplaying themselves. They're trying to trick people. I know my game, bro. Precision is the rank one succession Wusa. Which means he knows how to pick up a class and do well in AOS. In 3v3 with it. So that means... He's going to be good on Awake Drag. He knows how to pick up a new class, and he knows how to game on it in the exact scenario he needs to game on it. And then only chance on Awake Zerk. I don't think he's had a lot of time on Awake Zerk. I don't think he's been on it as long. But... I know, he was a... Uh, he's a, he's a, a top-tier wizard. I give him more credit. A lot of people... People don't say he was uh, one of the best wizards, but I think he was, from my experience. So I think he's a, he's a gamer. This is a gamer team. My problem is Awake Zerker... 4.4k prize pool. Nah, it's 1.7k to the winner. Um, 1,700 to the winning team, 400 to second place, and then like, or something like that, but that's really, 200, maybe, I don't know. It came out to like 2,400 across the uh, first, second, third team. 4,400 across the two different, because he's doing NA, NEU. It's 4,400 for NA, NEU, the prize pool, because he's counting it as one tournament. Yeah, I feel like Oni was right behind details. Um, but yeah, I feel like Woke Zerk is going to get ran down here. Then we have Multi Melter, Meth, and Pig. Um, see, like, this is just solid. These are three people for AOS. They love the AOS. They love small scale. They PvP all day fucking long. Maybe not Meth. I don't know about Meth as much, but Pig PvPs day and night. Multi Melter, if he hears PvP, he runs out of bed for it. And the thing is, I like this comp better. I think what it comes down to is there's two teams of gamers, but this is the better team. The better team for the matchup. Mel Multi's been on a wake's rack for a while. These guys have been on their classes for a while. These are on their mains. Pig, WP Destroyer, Best in Class Striker. Oh, third Best in Class Striker. I keep reading that wrong, bro. I think I fucked it up with uh, the other guy. Rank 1 DK, AOS, NA, and EU Season 1. Rank 1 Wusa, AOS, NA, and EU Season 2. But what about Season 3? He didn't get it on the track. Maybe this is his weak link. Okay, he just didn't do it. Oh, he did do it. Only a little. He didn't bother. Okay. This is a cool match, though, regardless. Who did I pick to win? I think I put Among Us winning. I did. Right? I think Oni-Chan needs to play this perfectly. It all comes down to Oni-Chan. Everything in this match comes down to Oni-Chan on the Woke, the Woke Zerk. If he doesn't play perfectly, they lose. If he plays perfectly, they win. If all the pressure's on him. That's my, my thought process here. But maybe I, anything can happen. Maybe I'm wrong. The bacon. <laughs> Just shut it up. <laughs> what a great spectator, though. You're a good spectator, brother. Ryogen, big, cl cool class, bro. Just standing there waving a fan. Big, 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 big plays from Ryogen. Only chance in the mix of the fight. Pigs on the ground, just taking no damage, gets right back up. Only chance got a grip. That means he could die while holding them. Down to half health while holding. <gasps> Meth feed last second. He got the V off. They're trying to sniff him. He actually got out of V. He should be okay now, though. He can just run and heal. Maybe only chance running some heavy DP. No, no. He's forced to V, I think. Pretty sure he V there. 10% health. Doesn't look like they're trying to sniff. <gasps> they got the sniff, though. But he's in the corner. Only chance goes down first. Script confirmed. Multi's really low, though. It's not over if Multi doesn't get out to heal. But, I mean, perfect class to get out heal. He could literally pop his PA. He could press a hockey multi, go into an SA, and heal to 50% health. And there's nothing the other team can do about it because they don't have a grip. So, it's it's tough for them to win this. And the only thing they got going for them right now is that meth feed. If, if they uh, catch meth again, they can turn into a 2v2 because he can't feed and they have the damage. But they're just playing safe right now and letting Pig be the front line. Because I think they th they know Pig is not going to die. I don't know if Pig's DP meme. I'm starting to think he might be a DP meme. It's starting to look that way. Raijin's just not in the fight. I'm assuming his teammate's struggling right now. And his teammate's dead. Questionable play to just sit out of the fight and wave his fan. But maybe he was hot. He needs to cool off like I do. 3v1 now, so that's a round. Can't come back from this. Although, with HP's getting cut to 50%, anything could be possible, I guess, with a Wusa in the match. When you casting with blue? Shut 
Joe Van Sup. He was. He came in here yesterday. He came into the chat. It was weird. Made a lot of us uncomfortable. All right, wait. He's kind of gaming, bro. Pig actually forced a V. What are they doing, bro? They're trying to stall for buffs. Why? Pig's... Why are they risking this? I mean, I guess even if Pig dies, 2v1 HP, but... They, I guess they want to stall for buffs. Okay. I guess it's fine. Fuck it. This guy can't catch a pig? What's wrong with him, bro? Striker e-buff. That's true. Striker e-buff's OP in this. Okay, that was smart. Good call. We didn't really get to see Onichan pop off. Awake Zerk POV. Uh, he knows people want to watch this shit. I wish he'd raise the camera up, but whatever. I guess we're just ground POV. Dwarf POV. Onichan, this time he's playing a little safer. He's staying out of the fight, but he just giant leaped into the fight. Uh, he's, he's so lucky he didn't get caught there. That was unprotected as fuck, that first dash. Pig's just staying on top of him. He's just spamming unprotected skills into Pig's face. Onichan on the ground. He's not, he doesn't V. He's got the fresh white kicks though. Gets a grip of 50% health. That's risky as fuck, but he, he somehow survives it. Multi, multi Vs with 1% health. They're, they're making it happen. They're doing okay. Oh, Onichan v I didn't even notice. I was looking at the health bars. Oh, and Multi got sniffed. Still winnable because Onichan doesn't have a V here. Pig is just running him down. Not bad. They're both just going to stay on Onichan. I think... Did Mef get CC'd? Mef, if Mef gets back up. CC capped. He can just spam shit right now. Onichan's on the ground. Mef is dying standing, though. Mef needs to get out. Get a little health back. Well, Pig... Primes only for a grab. Lands the grab. Mef comes back in with some health to trade. Gets the kill. But ah, it's, it's hard to pull that off. Only chance being super aggro too when he doesn't need to be. A little risky. But I guess he wants to show Wake Zerk can fucking game. Uh, Mef is probably dead here. Nope. 10% health. He made it out. He's running. Pig still just diving at Onichan. Onichan's on the ground, but Mef is nowhere in sight. Pig is just leaving. Pig is full DP meme, that means. Bro, these people, I don't like... I don't like DP meme on Striker, man. I don't like... I don't like that. I don't, I don't think that's worth doing, man. You're an SA... Perma SA class. Like, you don't... Ninja, it makes more sense. Because you're spamming bigger AoE CCs. And you have way more gaps, so you get caught being hyper aggro. On Striker, you don't really get caught. I mean, whatever. He's going to have his e buff back for next round. So, they still have a good shot for next round. Pig on the ground. He's getting blown up here. 2% health. He got the grip. Oh, no, no. He got, yeah, that's it. That should be dead here. All right. It's coming down to a tiebreaker. Yeah, I, I, if Pig was a DP, like, he could have killed Oni, Oni there. I don't think the DP is the right move. Like, do you think Divios is DP? Oh, wait, Drac has a grab. It's a, it's not the best grab, though. But it does have a grab. I think they got lucky, though. They blew multi up that time. If that doesn't happen again, it's a wrap. Okay, Pig's going for a different target this time. Multi's on the ground already. Multi's dead standing. That's it. multi even V. I guess that's a wrap. Wow. I was counting on that, man. That was This is the big one that I thought. I, I wanted to at least see the V, man. I'm saying I didn't even get to see the V. Like, I don't know what he was thinking. This is Sakwusa. He played Sakwusa. Sakwusa is the hot, like one of the highest damages in the game right now. And Woke Drac, another he knows Woke Drac because he is a Woke Drac. I can't believe he uh didn't think he needed to be there in the mosh pit. That's because he's not used to uncapped. He doesn't realize he's going up against people with gear as well. I guess that that's the only explanation I can have there. PA about a buff Drac after this multi performance. I can't believe that. I was wrong. They did it. Good job, Oni. Proud of you, man.
Trust me, I listen, I I told you a million times. I bet it against you. No disrespect about that. Alright? I bet I ended up betting against you. I bet it against your class. Okay? Not against Zerk. I mean not against you. Just against Zerk. I'm really surprised. Like that first round, that's what I expected it to be, you know? So all they could do is go for Skeptic. They won a 2v3 without Skeptic. Because they couldn't damage the hash anyway. Alright, I'll turn him up. Play chill. Don't worry about me too much. We got one already. He just went right in to CC so Kosini. Kosini. Kosini's full health already, though. He got yield. Careful. He's getting, getting blown up, damage. though. Back up. Yeah, I have beat. I have beat. I have beat. Oh, Skeptic already beat. Oh, uh, yeah, I beat as well. They both feed. I beat as well on the other side. I don't think there was a sniff. I go, I go sniff. I need help. Oh, he got sniffed. Ooh, oh, nice peel. I'm fine. Care, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. You got to back up a little bit. His cooldown slots Grabs are blocking right. the fight. He's left right now. We run, we run, we run, we run. Run, 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 run. He's calling a run. They listened. There's the, there's the calm dev. Oh. Again, we keep running at you? I think Gamble. Oh. All good, all good. Keep back I don't up. know keep if he can go or run in this. I, I go grab. Yeah, his team is in, isn't good enough. Space really far down. <laughs> the e are almost out. He's not giving up, though. He's counting on Dom for the damage. It's just DK damage. That's all he has right now because his DP build. They're just staying on DK. He can't get out. Maybe. I'll do I think it go, again. You gotta go Time drag here. You, but... Cosini actually shredding the 530 Ooh. DP Armin. Bro, and yeah. Cosini's DP. I have to be here. Awake Wizard's fine. We'll Armin's full evasion, yeah. Alright, uh, yeah. that's one round down. We do have the damage. We're we're just getting caught. When I say run, I don't mean like play close to them and like still be in space. I mean like get the fuck out, like far. She he's far thinking, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I used to playing with like Divios, you know, like bro. You can't quote a run in an AOA like that in this comp. In this, I don't, I don't think they're gonna get out. Like I, I knew as soon as he said run, I was like, one of them gonna get caught, bro. Even though there's an awake wizard on the other team that can't chase, they can't run in here, bro. It's a tiny ass arena. There are two classes that like rely on you know what stamina and shit. You know it's it's tough for them to run in a, in this little arena. Drac is so desinky. See how it goes. I got caught. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. On the ground. On the ground. Alusha. All right, he stands up. We chill. We chill. Falc is really tanky. Alusha is super geared. Alusha like, might be like hard cap, dude. Alusha is super geared. That's the Falc. Slows are making my gameplay so hard. We chill. Nice. We're converting. On the ground. Holy On the shit! Damaging, damaging, damaging. That we damage. damage. We're fine. Yeah. Alright, disengage a little bit. Disengage a little bit. I'll try to kill you. You're fine. Grab, grab, drag back. Oh, no, he res, he res. Drag, 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 drag. Yeah, wow, they just keep resisting. He's on the ground. What grab a mosh. I'll be fine. What a fine. sloppy yeah. match. I'm surprised Armin's still careful alive. Careful here, careful here, careful here. Let's grab Wiz, grab Wiz in the back, grab Wiz in the back. I think they gotta go Wizard. He's gonna stand up, he's oh, gonna stand up CCs. on the ground again. I got two, Drak, oh, Drak, Drak, fall with me, Drak. Nice, nice, yeah, sniff, 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 sniff. Don't worry about anything else. Over here, maybe? Ah. Uh, he's in the corner with his I got one, I got one, I got one. Oh, Cassini sniffed. Grab, oh no. Valk, no grab, Valk, no grab. Look at Draconia here. Oh no, that Wizard wasn't, the, that was the only one that didn't V. That sucks. All right, look at Valkyrie. Look he at didn't Valkyrie. call to sniff that time. He, he, he was too too caught up in the moment. Reset, reset, reset. PA, 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 PA. They're going to go oh, on Dawn here. Ping, 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 ping. Skeptic feeds 12% health. Well, go, go, go to him, go to him, go to him. They're not, they're not. Oh, Lucia. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Oh, wow. No, you have to peel him. Did you Gamble. see that you sniff? It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Gamble, you had to peel him, though. You couldn't, you couldn't come in for me. I wish I was in comms. Bro, he couldn't do nothing. Ah, uh, they... Yeah. They, uh... Oh. Okay, yeah, sorry. Gambo, you Is can't... Is it shift F? Leave him there when he bees. You don't have to worry about me. Yeah. Oh, Lucia didn't catch me, but he saw where I was at. He just chased me down. Oh, he didn't even catch him at V. Never mind. You, you have to go He just dropped him. damage. You can't peel it though, you guys don't have grips. Armin is the one who has to peel there. Sorry, Armin, but like, how do you expect, how do you expect the hash to peel the valve? You know how hard that is? When, uh, 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 peel the valve off a DK that has 12% health?
I don't know who wins this. Because I still don't know how much gear Dragon Drop had. And Junzo, I don't know what he has. Oh, this is a better matchup for Dragons, I think. Dragons could win this. If Travis Lee is on DP meme again, I think they lose this. I'm going with Team CTG. Ham's eating good. I think Ham wins this, yeah. That's such a bad engage. I don't like seeing that. He went to half health already. Junzo's already fucking in V with 10% health. No, he didn't V. I was just watching Flowers. They just got smoked on that engage, man. Woos is, this is the match where Wooster can shine. Because they don't really have to worry about anybody on their team doing anything too crazy. So they can just play slow and just safe. Junzo forced the V there, caught in the middle. Style, I think, is on the ground, but he gets back up. Goes right for Flowers, doesn't, doesn't get anything there. No sniff on uh, Junzo. But he's going to dive right back in anyway with half health. And uh, which track is Violet? That was Flowers. Flowers just 100 to 0 that shit's crazy. I'm guessing Travis is DP meme still. Because... And that's the only explanation why there's such a difference in stats right now. In damage going across the board. You know? Travis C's team just doesn't have damage because he's running a high DP. And the other team has suck wooses and stuff. They have insane damage. Although Travis C's taking damage now, so maybe he did swap off. Put a little AP on. My mic okay? My mic's been having issues lately. Yeah, it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to sleep before these things, man. Damn. I mean, I expected this. This is how I expected this match. Oh, wait. Wow, I'm, I'm talking to you guys. Bro, the Wusa died. CTG died. This is a 2v2 now. The one time I'm like, all right, it's a wrap. I didn't even bother thinking the 2v3 had a chance. They're still in it. One minute left. Everybody drops to half health now. It's anybody's game now. Lagatha's getting low, though. Travesty's on the ground. Travesty V'd. Lagatha dies. Okay, he dies standing. That's it. Bro, that was almost a comeback. I don't know, man. You gotta ask Blue Squadron or something. Well, they were considering Travesty as a support. DP, Awake Mystic, throwing vacuums, CC grabs. You know, they kind of used him, looked at him as a support. But, again, Striker, at least it has two grabs. Only one grab, that's a big difference. No, he's not. Because they're DR classes. They could be tanky, they need healing. You know, like a Valk would go well with their comp. And because they don't have high accuracy, a Valk goes really well with their comp. Junzo again being aggro coming in and right out the gate. I'm not a fan of Guardian, man. I like the iframes, but it just doesn't do enough against a team that doesn't have a good grab target. Although they're getting work done. Styles is fucking level 67, by the way, at 20% HP. I just realized Styles is 67. It's the first 67. That's the second 67 I've seen ever. Uh, Valk is down to 20%. He's he's still alive though somehow. 6%, 1%. I don't know if he has V still. No, he's dead. Okay. Style dead. This is now a 1 1 match. I wonder if there was a gear swap involved with that change, that change up. Right? You can PvP at 67? That's nuts. Pilots be going hard nowadays. Valk is the, would have been the play for them. Yeah, go Valk is the play. I mean, Valk's the play for everybody. Valk is just the perfect fucking addition to every team.
All right, this is it. The marbles. That was a weird grab attempt. Junzo's down to 50 already. Travesty on the ground, getting blown up 103% health, and then he gets the V off. He had to have switched off DP, surely. Surely there's no way they do that much damage, just because it's a Wusa and a Drac with Falqua. Surely it doesn't make that much of a difference. Junzo just iframing around. Travesty just trying to heal. They do right now. Something's happening. <laughs> Can't really tell what. It's just a blur of effects. Something did happen. Style was forced to V with 10% health. I'm assuming Style was forced to V. Okay, this is anybody's match. It, ain't, I, it was looking so one sided. They're just chasing down Style right now. They're trying to chase him down. He's only at 30% health. He got some healing back because Drac can heal while in protection. What a fucking shit show. Excuse the language. This is just a... This is... Can I turn my music up? Uh-huh. This is like the perfect music for this. This is just metal. There's a bunch of people just slugging it out. What's happening? Nobody knows, bro. It's just a bunch of SA classes spamming shit into each other's fucking faces. This is metal as fuck. But like Eartha goes down, the Guardian goes down. Not over yet, as we've seen. Holy shit! Style goes down. Somebody did. I think that was Travis the ulting. That's that's bro. What? Are any of them streaming? Bro, the fucking comeback. The dragons. That was fucking cool, dude. Oh, shit. Something just happened. That wasn't the... Dra that couldn't be a Dracul. Dracul doesn't blow up like that. So, repositions. Style right here. Style backs up. Actually, Style's in pre-awake right now. Then he backs up. Oh, CTG might be right here. I think CTG's right here. I think CTG's back here. Because I don't see CTG and I see a bunch of purple effects, which is Wusa effects. CTG and Style. Yeah, CTG and Style just fucking blasted Junzo in the back. Junzo, yeah, there he is. There's CTG. CTG comes out from behind them in the shadows. And then what happens here? Travesty moves in. They're all grouped up. That's what that was? Oh, shit. I don't know Awake Mystic well. Like, you see, this, this is literally the only one in the game. Could that have just been Flowers? I mean, Style got CC'd and Dragon Drop. They were CC'd. Flowers was in Shift Q here. He lands. There's one skill. Looks like down L and B. And basically deleted them. With double dragons. Is that like a buff or something? I, I know nothing about Awake Mystic. I've never bothered to look into it. Dude, the dragons. God damn. Wow. Congrats. What a way to stay in the tournament. What a way to stay in it, bro. That was fucking cool. Alright, now we got Miscreants and Stin Steakhouse. Oh, they're already in the match? Oh, I didn't unpause it. My bad. Fuck. I thought I had it poised. Thank you. Alright, they're just staying tight, though. We'll get into that in a minute. But I think Suck Moose, just because it's, it's cooler. It's more fun to play. Ninja's really cool and all, but... Hard cap Suck Moose. You know why? Because we've never seen it. we never seen a super geared Suck Moose in action. Forest is the best we have on NA. And I don't think he's hard capped. Yeah, he said Musa. What? Why are you guys saying gold? Uh. For what? Armin I mean, needs a sub? Don't get fucking ad block, bro. What do you mean? 
Oh, a sub in his team. I mean, I guess. I guess I'm going to go on Armin's team, but I don't know if I should go Warrior or Drac. Because, like, Drac gives you gear score, bro. Warrior doesn't. Oh, I'm, I'm skipping the match. My bad. Here's your match. Let me keep this up. Sorry, guys. Sin Stake is winning as expected, though. I guess I'm going to talk to Armin for a minute. Oh, my God. I did it again. I paused the stream like an asshole. They're already in the match. I keep doing this now. Wait, we're in a 2v2. 2v2 is just so rare. Somebody died on each team, and I missed how it happened. And it wasn't Bingy. It wasn't the Wake Zerk. The Wake Zerk's still alive. This is actually a great scenario for Bingy. 2v2 is fat on the Zerk. That was a sick catch. Shift Q catch on the fucking... Whose image? Valk? That was a good... My boys! On team, they're doing it. That was a dope catch. That was sick, bro. God damn. All right, we got the Wolf Zerk POV right now. Um, oh, it's Emma Watson's team, I think. That's the only team right here. Yeah, okay. Wow. I'm surprised. I would I, I would think Emma Watson would pu pull this off. But Greed's... That's what it is, Greed's. What is Greed's on? He's on the fucking Awake Megu. I don't, I don't think that class is it. It's busted, but not for sweaty 3v3. It's busted for catching people off guard when they don't know what the fuck the class does. You know what I mean? 3v3, people are on point. It's hard to it's hard to do it. Binky's going crazy right now. We're watching the fucking suck stage. I'm going to fall asleep. We could be watching Bingy fucking jumping around like an animal. Look at him go. King James on the ground. <sighs> he got deleted by the Woke Megu. Woke Megu's so OP and strong for this. Why isn't everyone playing it? Now Bingy CC, but he gets out of it. Emma Watson on the ground. Emma Watson, I think, feed. They gotta sniff this shit. It's definitely right there. I knew she was gonna come out right there. Two v two. Emma Watson's dead. My bad. I'm thinking about the tourney. I'm thinking about what gear I should run and shit like that right now. Now that I'm forced to fucking play. But anyway. Is that another 2v3? That's a, that's a 2v3. Again. Yeah. Another 2v3. Armin kidnapped me against my will. Wow. Yeah, you don't want a 2v2 the Zerker, bro. Zerker is not what you want a 2v2. Okay, this is this team. Ooh. Alright. I'm actually... This is dope. I'm happy we're fighting these teams. This is a good matchup for us. Either one. in the zone. We're zoning in right now. What's up, Nevada? Good luck. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you for the sub. But if you see me just zoning out, like just staring into the screen, I'm, I'm playing out. I'm doing, I'm rotating my skills in my head. I'm prepping. I didn't have prep time, so I gotta, I gotta make do with what I got. We're watching Maywood POV. 3v3 right now. Kuno's really low on the console team. I was getting chipped down. Hunter Boo's still going strong on the Ranger. I feel like they should just be focusing him. Just blow him up. He's forced to go into SA more than you think, despite Ranger being uncatchable. This is an AOS where they're tanky. They're squishy as fuck out here.
You going on Drac? Nah, I'm going on Warrior. I don't have enough experience on Drac, and I don't want Armin to be like, you know, I don't want Armin to feel like I'm inting. So I'm gonna go on the Warrior. Regent, Regent getting sniffed. But the wall's eating up the damage, but not enough. He still goes down. Hunter Blue is about to die here too. They can't, they can't come back. You can't, you can't 2v3. I don't think they can 2v3 this. Not against the Mewa on Ranger. Ranger gets a catch. Ranger cannot combo if that Mewa's standing. The Ranger, the Mewa just goes behind the Ranger and CCs him. So, it's kind of, this, it, there's no way they throw this. Unless console players are overrated. Kill hearts down. Kill heart dead. This is 1v2-able though. If he gets the grab on the Mewa, Kuno died. If he gets the grab on the Mewa, or a CC on the Mewa, he could pull it off. But you see, he's gonna go for the caster. He feed. I mean, he could get the grab on the caster and actually kill him. I, but I feel like it, Mewa just drops skills. If he doesn't have grab, Mewa could just dump skills on him and kill him in SA while he tries to kill the, the caster. Even if he tries to kill the caster with SA skills, which I don't think he can. I think he has to use Fogar skills in order to kill the caster there. Match is over. Visualize the attack like Bobby Boucher. That's I got a little Bobby Boucher in me, bro. All right, it is what it is. All right. I got a little bit of that in me. Okay. How you compensate for the gear dip? Raw talent and skill, baby. I'm, how am I gonna compensate for it by having Armin? Calling shit. All right. And honestly, the hash has the damage, bro. Hash has damage, and the hash is tanky. It's gonna be Operation I Have to Stay Alive. And that's what I do best, is kite. So, as long as I don't flop with nerves, I should be okay. I get nerves in these tournaments. I'm not prepped right now, so I, I mean, I could choke, but... I'm kind of in the mood to play. Because I, you know, I hate tournaments, because whenever I do tournaments, I can't sleep the night before, I don't get enough sleep, I wake up being nervous. Right now, like, I'm already up. I'm already here. I'm wide awake. I'm streaming. So this is... I'm going to be able to play the tournament a way I've never played before. Because I'm actually chilling right now. I'm having a good time. I've never had this. So. You know, when you're sitting waiting for the game day. Yeah. You're sitting there waiting to go into the match. You know, your stomach's bothering you. You feel like you got to shit, but you can't shit. You know? You, you just, like... You, you, it's, it's, just, it's just brutal. Now, like, I'm already past all that. We're already, we're already here. So... And like, it's different. I'm not sitting in silence, you know? I got you guys keeping me company. You guys are helping me through this right now, which is dope. So thank you for allowing me to stream and allowing me to be here. Because I don't have to sit here and just be in my own head and think of all the ways I can, it can go wrong. Instead, I can just chill, have fun. When it's my match, lock it in. I believe in you. Anything can happen, man. I don't care. As long as we win like one match, you know, I'd like to have one good showing just for fun. You know, I expect to lose in the end due to gear diff, but. I would just like a little, I just like to go down swinging if I do go down, you know? I don't want a match where like I die standing no Vs, right? Then that'd be sad. This went as expected, yeah. Usually does go as expected. Dragons doesn't have Valk buff. Chief is gonna be annoying for them. And if Lefonda and Azalea are all running evasion, this isn't the worst matchup. Like, Junzo already missed his grab. I'm rooting for Azalea. I love flowers. I like Junzo, but like, Azalea is just, we go way too far back. Lefonda's getting shredded though. Lefonda Vied, I guess they do have the accuracy. Although Lefonda might be running a little more AP. He's, wow, he came out of that. That was a slick V escape. He landed on his feet out of V. He didn't have any V animation. I think that was a V. Um, unless I'm wrong. Yeah, he not he V. But he got caught immediately. He's gonna die here. Yeah. It's not over though. Flowers is really low, although of course he can heal. Chief Chief can grab flowers and Azalea and Chief can kill him. But it's gonna be tough. Azalea's a god tier gamer on that suck on though, man. He can kite these motherfuckers all day. That's the king of the skies. That's the real dragon. Chief on the ground, that's not good. Azalea's trying to peel. Chief gets a wake up grab. Uh, fucking Junzo V's with one fucking health. As early as he's got no health, he doesn't get the V sniff. Chief might get it. No, 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 he didn't get it. 
Told you it ain't over, though. Azalea's really got to worry about getting blown up, but he could just keep flying. Chief just not... It's really Chief needs to not get CC'd here. He's still looking solid. Low HP, but it's ticking back up. Azalea's just trying to get reset. Needs to get his stand back and his HP back. Needs both of those to heal up. Lagatha, no V. Remember, Jun's on no V here. So I think that's what Chief's going for. But I think Chief just got CC'd out of a grab. Chief got back up, though. Low HP. Travis on the ground, but that's not that's not the target for Azalea. I think Chief just V'd. No. Maybe? I don't Oh, he did V, and he got sniffed by Travis D. He gets off to Trish Travis D, though. But Flowers is here. That's it. It depends how you define le weak link. Like, he's not... You'd be surprised. If you could see stats for these matches, you'd be surprised on how, how Azalea is doing. I think the Awake Corsair is more of a weak link. You know, their, their team non their, their team name literally is no Wusa, no track, no uh what was the other one? I don't know. But they're basically team non-meta. That's what they're going for. This time as early as going in for the quick CC. Nothing. Long little cheek for a little old thing, little boy bang bang. Long little cheek. Niggas fighting over rain, niggas born big game. Long little chief. Yeah, watch pretty mama while I slay my cane. Long little chief. Uh, got the bitches in the racks. Uh, hand me downs with the patches. Mama put a little money in the matches. Tell me how to make a silver spoon out of flax. You can need a sink, still will be the key. Okay, where we at? Junzo, 10% health. Junzo comes out of V as really gets that. No, possibly a resist. He should have been in flight so that he could instantly catch him. He, 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 he too late. They're just going to try to run down uh, Junzo here, which should work. Although, I certainly got caught. I certainly is tanky, but he's supposed to be. Now it's anybody's game. They had to leave, but they kind of blew it. I certainly comes out of be okay. He's just got to heal up now. Junzo, miss grab. Uh, it's hard to tell what Chief's got going on. Striker always fucking has a grab. Oh shit, Flowers just popped. Flowers popped. Junzo, no V. He gets back up. 50% health. Oh shit. Some crazy shit just happened. I didn't even notice it. They're just gonna stay on uh, Junzo and burn him. Travis D doesn't have enough heal potential. He doesn't, uh, then again, maybe he does have damage. I mean, we saw that other team blew up. Nah, Travis D doesn't have damage. He's back to DP. Unless he's high DP the whole time. But regardless, he doesn't have damage there. This team's dead. He's the last one alive. Now he's going to keep around with the ball. Oh, I could have pulled up on the woke Zerk, son. I could have went crazy. I forgot. I knew it was another class I was enjoying. I could have pulled up on the woke Zerk. I could have blasted. Nah, but I can't. You can't combo with that. I ain't getting kills with that. Actually, glass cannon woke Zerk. That could be the play. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't worth it, ain't worth it. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't at that level on Zerk. You gotta be like a pro Zerk, man, to pull it off. You gotta be really fucking good. I ain't there, man, I ain't there. I, in AOS, I feel, I, I would feel way better on it, but not in this arena. Um, I think I'm going against the console team. <sighs> Tough match. It's gonna go into a tiebreaker round. This is match 17. Three more matches, then I'm up. Just gotta lock it in. Console, I think, is Wizard May for targets outside of range, uh, random Kuno Yeah. I think May was the easy catch when he comes in to follow up on something. Easy to grab them to peel, especially as a warrior. Slow rounds. Chief on the ground. 
He gets back up. Surely. Yeah, he gets back up. Half health. Legarther at 70. I don't think she feed. I'm not sure. I don't know how he got over there. Uh, somebody CC'd. Oh, that was Azurlia. I think Azurlia V'd. He did. He's out of V though. He's okay. Flowers on the ground in the middle. Flowers forced the V. This is big. Azurlia's got the fucking schnoz. Come on, Azurlia's sniffing that shit. Ah, oh, no sniff. No sniff. But they can focus Flowers here. Chief, not on the ground. I think Chief, they're gonna, they're gonna go hard on Flowers here. Because it's just too, it's so hard to catch these, these classes without a grab. That it's like, if you're going to fucking go for a grab, you might as well focus one, force him to burn his movement, then you catch him with the grab. But they're not really going on Flowers. I think they're waiting. They're going to they're gonna call the switch to him. There it is. Chief gets the grab on Flowers. Flowers should not live here. Although he got, he's got early, but he still dies. He just had to sit out of the fight. Flowers just had to sit out of the fight. But he panicked. He didn't trust his team. He went back in. You gotta, the hardest thing in this is having faith in your teammates. And there goes, there goes Dunzo. W for Azurlia. Azurlia's still in it. Yeah. Good match. Good match. It's so hard, dude. You have to, when you don't have V, but your teammates are like 2v3ing, and you're like, fuck, what do I do? You know if you go in, you're risking it all because you can't escape if you get caught. But you're like, I don't want to sit back and do nothing. Sometimes you have to do that. I'm going to make a G Fuel. We're going to caffeine up. I want my hands shaking. I'm not, I want to not press button, bro. I just, I don't like pass their on the Valk, man. I wish he was on Zerk. I wish he was on Suck Zerk. No, Details is the, go details is the best Suck Wizard in the game. <laughs> you don't say, you know, it's like... That's like saying Bobo, I feel like Bobo should be on fucking a, a Suck Warrior. You know what I mean? Trust me, details on Suck Wiz is the play. It's just, the Valk doesn't provide, the Valk is defensive, you know? You already have Suck Wizard, which puts you on the back burner. Suck Wizard isn't an offensive class, it's a defensive class. You just, uh, having the Valk being defensive too, it doesn't really help that much. In this comp, the Valk has to be defensive, he can't be offensive. That's the problem. Other comps, sure. But in this Valk, that's why if he was on Suck Zerker instead of Awake Valk, he could be offensive. That gives de uh, details more breathing room to, to, to relax and play smarter. But I think they win this. Although details is half health already. But that ain't that, no big deal, bro. My boy's been in that situation before. He pulls through. See, you mad bro down to 34%. Can't see anything that's happening. This fucking guy, Fabby, was not even in the fight so far. Thank God we changed off his camera. You mad bro, did the track just deleted? Past the peak 50%. Details full health. Just just chilling, bro. Just swinging that staff around. Harry Potter on fire. Davin's okay. Just barely lived. Stage is dead. That's a dub. Easy one. Yeah. Oh, it's getting close to my match, bro. I wasn't ready for this shit. You no, know this, bro. More than losing, I just I don't want to let I don't want to let Armin down, bro. But I guess fuck it. Like if he had like I'm not a bad swap for him. Skeptic. And uh, wait, DK, he was already gonna get fucked. Yeah, sooner. Uh, hopefully, I don't get DDoS, bro. That sucks, man. Yo, you did well that match, though. That was a fun match. I didn't see your second match. I missed it because I was talking to Armin about subbing. I, I, what happened? You want to fill us in? I don't know what happened that match. I tried to rewatch it, but it's just, it, it was too soon after the possible subbing thing. Their wizard is dead already, bro. I don't even know. How, they're just dead. Davin's, Davin's just deleting people with Sakusa. Did details. He's just a monster. He's probably deleted. Bro, they just... This is a team. I told you. Don't sleep on these guys. Uh, Skeptic. Don Skept. The uh, Wake DK. From uh, the, the Family GM streamer.
size to him. That's a bummer, man. You know what the last tournament I won was? The Petco tournament. And I won that shit. And you know what, Guild? I'm back in as of this week. Petco. Uh, give me one second, boys. Let me talk to Armin real quick. Oh, watch pig. Oh, this is a good match. I'm um, up next. I mean, I assume pig's team wins this, but anything can happen. Uh, mult uh, multi's really low. Go warm up. We going cold, man. Sage is pretty bad in this, yeah. I think Sage is pretty bad in this. And James is new to Sage. It's not the play. I don't know why. I think they just were worried they don't have enough damage because it's like uncapped. There's a lot of gear in here. But... I don't know if that's the move. I can't believe Biggie didn't get CC'd. Uh, you know, full length Titan Blow. Camera turning a forward guard in this match. But he got a grip on Mef. Mef's going to have to be right there. No. They just don't have crazy. What's Kiwi's name? How do I spell that? Oh, Awake would have been much better, too. Awake would have been better, for sure. Uh, because I thought you said the message her to get invites. I thought that's what you said. I don't know. I thought I heard you say that. Oh, we have a party, though, so whoever's party lead does it. Just let me know when you get the invite, so I know that we'll take back it. If anything. Harness the Brad Pitt. I got a shit right now, man. Well, Biggie was just walking. I saw that. What was that? Yeah, bro. <laughs> always will. I always will, man. I can't help it. 
empty, I could have an empty stomach, I'll still be like, ah, oh, I feel like I got a shit. Just can't help it. I was talking about it earlier. I, I, I got the nerves for all three of us. I got the nerves for all three of us. Nerves? Nah, yeah. That's good, bro. You literally something in last second. It's all good. Ooh, I like this, bro. You gave me a nice little playlist here. This is, my, this, this is good for me, bro. Man, I feel like I'm on Molly and I'm tripping out. Now it doesn't feel like nerves. It feels like I'm having a bad trip. Freaking out, man. My mouth's getting dry. <laughs> I'm still a bit of mad at Reeve right now. That's what I feel like, man. This is the golden season. We are Mcdonia and Ogus. Oh, I'm used. All right, all right. I'm gonna post up to the left. I have on a wall. You know, Ebuff. Gakuno, Gakuno, Gakuno. Up ground. Ebuff. That may well. Oh, you guys. I mean, I'm even slower. Hey, I'm slow. I have no grip. Cosini got sniffed. Oh, by the in this one, in this one. Oh. I'm CC, I should be okay. Grab, oh, no, man, I'm fine. I'm on the ground in the middle. I'm sitting in it. I can also, I can also see. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just gonna back out, do a little healing. I'm grip out of Kuno. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. I'm waiting for Mewa. Nice peel, peel. Nice peel, nice peel. Nice peel. Nice peel. Mewa's on the ground, in this one. I re cc no need, I'll check up this way. He died, he died. They want die. Oh, wait, no, you got it. See? Yeah, I got it. They're on the ground. Yeah, he's really tanky for me, but we're showing. Alright, we're stuck, we're stuck. Let me try to do that again. Just walk a little bit slower. <clears throat> At the beginning. Yes, sir. I'm playing, I'm playing slow, man. I like it. Kuno's doing my only pressure. I mean, he's pretty obvious when he's coming, so I just reposition. Yeah, I, can feel, I can always feel the secondary gold scene. Yeah, let me try to finish your CC. I will leap this Kuno to do damage for you, and I'll grab the melee. Yeah, the Kuno, I don't, I don't think he's doing much to me. Maybe on the ground? Okay, I like really low damage for this. Oh no, on the ground. All good, all good. I'm gonna keep the wizard away from you guys. Maybe we're in the middle. Speed, speed, speed. Oh, I got him, I got him in the. Oh, I missed him. He, he's out, he's out. Maybe on the, maybe on the, on the ground this one. Oh, I floated him, I floated him. I'm okay here. Oh, yeah, I'm backing up. I'm going to this one. North. Keep up. Let me, let me, let me play. CT, CT, CT. Oh, shit. 
I'm backing out, I'm backing out. I'm going to the S1. I'm showing, I still have V. I'm all the way north, to the west. I'm just watching for the wizard. I'll kill the wizard if, if you hit him down. Corsini's just looking at me in combat. Okay, he's on the ground. No. Combat gripped here. That's a V. I'm sniffing out one. Stiffed. I need a. Oh. I'm on the ground here. I have V. I'm okay. I'm up. Kuno's on the ground. I'm gonna grab some combat on the ground. Combat on the ground. I on the ground, on the ground. I'm just gonna stay on combat. Coming on the ground, this one. Dead. Gonna rip. House one. Nose, baby. Good shit, boys. Is that it? That's it for today? Oh, that's it for today. Oh, thank God. Uh, I got right, a week well, to get in shape for this shit. Yeah, Excellent comms. Let's get it, sorry. Yeah, flow out the uh, weeks. We're going to set up some uh, screens. So what's the, what's the schedule looking like? On, on the weekdays. I'm, I am I have no life, bro. Okay, yeah. I'm that's here. That's why I like to hear, bro. Oh, that's it why I like comes, to hear, bro. It just comes down to uh, our schedule, basically. Or like my schedule, sorry. Uh, what was the, what was the <laughs> prediction spread? Oh, they spread for us most of the I was going to say, there's no way. I feel like that was a, an easy game. That us. was a good matchup for us, yeah. I mean, I had, bro, I'm not going to lie, I had low-ass damage against those boys. Yeah. The damage, I mean, but like, it's like, fine, dude. We just chip. We, as long, yeah, we have great, we have great, like, CC potential and peeling. It's, it's not bad. I don't pop I either, don't so well, this is, that. this is a bad. I mean, we'll see when we run into a more gear. Yeah, 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 but it'll be fun. Yeah, whatever, it was fun. That, It'll be fun. That's it for today. Um, I think. Just double check. Yeah, you guys double check, actually. I'm done. Oh, I think that is it for today. Yes. Okay. okay. Good job. So I'll try to arrange a swim probably on Tuesday. Sometime Tuesday to Friday, at least one or two. Um, it's going to be against uh, Gardekis team and the Florence team, likely. Gold, you have one week to grind. Yeah, yeah. I mean the disto is a little inting. My, my, I'm, it's for grinding. I'm a work. I'm a work in progress, bro. Yeah, I'm a work in progress right now. We're getting there. But all right, GG's boys. I'll let you guys go. Okay. Thank you so much for the invite. It was fun. Awesome comms. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. See you. See you. See you. All right, motherfuckers, bro. We kind of gamed. I mean, I was slow with my combos and shit like that. But dude, we gamed. I mean. Fucking V sniffs out the wazoo. I'm giving Akari a run for his money when it comes to the sniffer of the tournament, man. Yeah, I, mean, I might have to steal his team name. And I didn't. I don't. I missed maybe one sniff. Ah, oh, Ludo, <laughs> you are so good, Mister Gold. Yeah, I, I, I can sense sarcasm when I see it. I can smell sarcasm too, buddy. Not just V's, okay? Now I gotta grind. I got a week to grind. I don't think we could win, but I, I need to grind. I gotta grind, guys. It's been real. I gotta go. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go grind. Any pilots in chat? I can ask that, right? I'm not a pilot. I'm not a partner anymore. Any any pilots? <laughs> Who's got me, bro? Not on stream? Alright, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm talking about pilots, bro. I'm trying to ask advice, okay? Pilots who fly planes are like fucking giga chads of the world, man. They they have life on lock. You ask them for advice on how to handle pressure. Nobody's gonna give you better advice on how to handle a tough situation than a pilot, okay? An airplane pilot. I'm thinking logically here. You guys are out of your minds, pilot, like fucking Pinoy. Come on. I would never. Tr trust me, if I didn't pilot yet, after playing this game for as long as I have, I ain't, I ain't ever piloting. Inshallah, I will be piloting. <laughs> no.